Mom, seems the little bitch is about to give birth. I have checked. She has four children in her belly. Great. My newly developed poison can finally come in handy. Aunt Imong. Did I do something wrong? I can't believe you did this to me. Your mother was a bitch when she was alive. Huh. When the bastards in your belly are born, you will have no use value. My parents. My parents, they just can't bear to have these children killed by you. So they chose to report it. You incredibly... Good cousin of mine, are you satisfied with the tramp I found for you? It was unexpected that the famous girl in Shin family had an affair with a tramp. Also gave birth to four bastards! <laughs> a tramp? But the man that night obviously didn't look like a tramp. I'm so hot. Are you drugged? Please. Mom! The bastards were born! Inject them with poison! Wait, there's something wrong with these kids! Mom, only two of the four children survived! This baby girl is dying, too! Come at me if you want! Please don't hurt my children! Xiaoxue, how could I hurt your children? I am certain to take good care of them. As for you, just go to hell. Throw this bitch and those two baby girls into the sea to feed the fish. Continue the experimental research on that baby boy. My babies. I'm so sorry. If I can survive, Lin Yuxin, Jiang Yumeng, I want you to die. With my children. Haicheng City, five years have passed. I, Sheng Nanxue, finally come back. Nanxue, come here. Nanxue, do you really want to marry that vegetable instead of Qingqian? Qingqian and he have an engagement. But we don't know when Mu Jingyuan will wake up. My good girl, you have been wronged in this matter. Mother Sue, if you hadn't saved me five years ago, Tian Tian and I wouldn't have had a chance to survive. I am willing to marry Mu Jing Yan instead of Ting Tian. Mom, where are we going? My dear, we're going to Mu family. In the future in Haicheng City, nobody will dare to bully you. I'm sorry, Mother Sue, I lied to you. What I really want is revenge as the daughter-in-law of Mu family. And I want to recapture the property of Shen family and find my other child. Just wait and see. Five years ago, you treated me like that. After five years, I will get it back from you. I want you all to be in pain. Mouth, every part is so familiar. It's been five years and I still remember the temperature and feeling when he touched me. You, who the hell are you? You don't even know who I am. How dare you drag me into your bed? Please, you tell me. Then you remember. Mom, what's wrong with you? Shen Nanxue, what the hell are you thinking? Mu Jingyuan is so distinguished. That man couldn't have been him from that night. Mom, this uncle's really good looking. Tian Tian, what are you doing? Mom? Aren't you going to marry this uncle? I gave him a kiss, what's wrong? Is it my illusion? The eyebrows and eyes of Tian Tian and Mu Jingyuan are indeed a little similar. Yes, Tian Tian. This uncle in the future will be your father. Hey, Xiaoxue. What about you now? Oh, by the way, that old hag of the Mu family didn't doubt you, did she? I have a good news for you. An auction will be held at the Didu Hotel recently. The auction is the only painting left by your father, the sunrise full of hope. That's a gift from my mother to my father. I must buy it. 
This is the only manuscript of a famous painter, Shen Pu. It is also a token of promise of him and his wife. Bidding starts at 10 million. Auction starts now. 15 million. Oh, this is the daughter of the Jiang family. No wonder she is so generous. The auction is also a painting by her older uncle. The fire in Shen family six years ago was really terrible. Huh. So hypocritical. 15 million for the first time. 15 million for the second time. 15 million for... 20 million. 30 million. 50 million. 50 million for the first time. 50 million for the second time. 50 million for the third time. Congratulate the lady for winning this painting successfully. Spend 50 million on a bad painting? What a fool. You also want that painting, don't you? But it's a pity that you don't have enough money. You can't afford 50 million. Do you know who I am? How dare you talk to me in that tone? My dear Miss Young, don't you remember me? Financia, it's impossible. I saw you thrown into the ocean with my own eyes. You can't be alive. Why is it impossible? I haven't paid my revenge. The King of Hell doesn't want me to die, so I still be alive. Jiang Yimong, where is my other child? Let me go. If you dare to do anything to me here, you can't get out of this place. Save the nonsense. Where is my other child? I don't know. Release me. I'll give you one last chance. If you don't want to die here, just quickly tell me where my son is. Calm down! Your son is too young. I've only done two experiments on him. He's dying, so I have to get rid of him. Get rid of him? What did you do? I left him in a cave. In no man's land behind the laboratory. Did you throw my child into the cave? Is that the place full of discarded medical waste and chemical poisons? Tang Yumeng, I thought you still had a little conscience. Never thought you were such an asshole. Today is the day you die. I will make you pay for my son's death. Xiao <laughs> Xue, what are you doing? Quickly, let her go. The Jung family are all outside. Fortunately, she just fainted. Quick, let go. This place is full of Jung family's people. We can't be found by them. Quick. Xiaoxia, why are you so impulsive? The Zhang family is now the second largest family in Haicheng City besides the Mu family. If you really strangle her, those Zhang family's people will definitely not let you go. Qingqian, my son is dead. They took my son to do experiments and killed him. He's still so young. I haven't had time to hug him. I hate them. I hate them so much. Xiaoxia, I know. In those days, the Zhang family handled the evidence so cleanly. Not a shred of evidence was left. If you really strangle her, the price she paid is too small. And you're going to jail. If you go to jail, how will Tian Tian to live? We had a deal. You marry Mu Jingyuan instead of me. And I will help you get revenge. I understand what you said, but I just heard that she was so cruel to my son and I really couldn't bear it. Hey, did you find the top hacker Chen Nai? I found him. Really? Great, his hacking skills are amazing. If he's willing to help me, we will be able to retrieve the records of the laboratory and the destroyed evidence in those days. However, his temper is too eccentric. Six months ago, he hacked into the internet of the Mu family. This incident caused a sensation in Haicheng City, but he didn't ask for any money. Just ask Mu Jingyuan to invite him to dinner. We don't know whether he will promise to help us. You guess how old he is this year. How old? Is he only a teenager? A young genius? This hacker is only five years old this year. What? Five years old? Mrs. Moo, where have you been? Your daughter is looking for you everywhere. Su Tian, where did you go in those two hours this afternoon? I went to conduct the kindergarten for Tian Tian and bought some daily necessities for her. Just let the housekeeper buy these things. You are the young lady of the Mu family. Remember your identity. 
If you don't behave yourself and dare to have a private meeting with other men, well, you have to know what the consequences are. According to the book, vegetative people can't talk, but they can perceive everything around them. Mu Jingyuan, can you hear me? Could it have been you that night? Well, I know it's impossible. You are the high-ranking gentleman of the Mu family, but the man that night was sent by Jiang Yunmeng to humiliate me. But I can't help saying this to you. Aunt said I need to stimulate your senses more. But there are rumors in Haicheng City that you are not interested in women. Why? Have you ever been hurt by a woman? Or is there something wrong with your sexual orientation? Are you interested in men? Hey, you moved. It seems to be working. I will keep trying, Mu Jingyan. It doesn't matter even if you like men. I won't tell anyone. All right, I'm talking nonsense. If you can hear me, don't blame me. Oh my God, you're the woman who will marry my cousin. I can't believe you undressed my cousin while he was in a coma. You should do such a shameless thing. I did this to prevent Jing Yuan's muscle atrophy so that he could wake up early. I heard what my mother said. You have an illegitimate daughter. It seems that you don't even know who her father is. I really don't know what Grandpa thinks. Ask my cousin to marry a woman with a bad reputation like you. Do you think I want to marry him? If your Mu family hadn't forced us, Su family, do you really think I don't want to be the princess of Su family anymore and ran to your house to serve a vegetable? If you really can't tolerate me and my daughter? It's simple. Now call your grandpa man and let him to kick us out. You! Su Qingqian, how dare you talk to me like that? Nominally, I am still your cousin's wife. Do you think it's appropriate for you to talk to me in this tone? I've never seen such a shameless woman as you. If my cousin wakes up, you and your bastard can only get out of our house. You have to wait for Jing Yuan to wake up first. The fortune teller once said, I am a lucky wife for Jing Yuan. If something bad happens, you will bear the responsibility. Well, Su Qingqian, I remember you. You better not fall into my hands, Miss Tong, right? If there's nothing else... I will continue to wipe Jing Yuan's body. Such a bitch. Yimong, did you hear that? How dare that shameless bitch offend me? Xiao Lin, calm down. She is now the wife of Mu Jing Yuan. Just bear it. Bear it? I, Tang Xiao Lin, never could bear it. I wish you were the daughter-in-law of the Mu family. Jiang family and Mu family are family friends. You're better than that bitch. Su so, Tian, why didn't you take care of my cousin in room? Why did you come out? You? Humong, what's wrong with you? You know her? Xiaolin, she's not Su Qingqian. This young lady, drugs can be eaten indiscriminately, but words cannot be said casually. Here is in the Mu family. Please pay attention to your words. Humong, what do you mean? She was brought here by my grandpa himself yesterday. Xiaolin, she's really not Su Qingqian. She is... This young lady... You can't just say that without any evidence. Sometimes people are cornered. What kind of things will they do? Nobody knows. Think it over yourself. We Su family's not easy to mess with. Yimong, please tell me quickly, is she really not Su Xingqian? Xiao Lin, I'm the woman appointed by your grandpa. Before checking my identity, will he just let me into your family? Think about it. Don't be used by other people. Yimong, is what you just said true? Is she not Su Qingxian? Then who is she? She... Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know who she is. Damn it. If she's not Su Qingxian, then I have plenty of ways to deal with this bitch. Xiao Lin, don't worry. I'll find a way to help you out of this evil spirit. Yimong, you're really my good friend. Mu Jingyuan, I was really scared just now. I'm afraid all this I've done will be exposed because of Jiang Yimong. Every day I live in Mu family, I live in worry. Only when I see you can I feel at ease. Although I know the man that night won't be you, I always feel that we know each other. Sorry, it may be a bit inappropriate to do so. But I am really tired now. Could I lean against you for a while? You say nothing? I'll take that as a yes. You moved your hand. What a touching scene. Good cousin of mine, and never thought you were so capable. And can marry into the Mu family. How did you get in? Get out of here! 
If I don't come in, can I see your shameless way of seducing Mu Xiao? If it weren't for Mu Xiao now still be in a coma, probably you have climbed into his bed. Chang Yumeng, don't you remember what happened at the auction last time? What do you want to do? This is in Mu family. On the surface, you're still the lady of the Su family. Here is Jing Yuan's bedroom. No monitoring, no guards. If you don't get out of here now, I can't promise what I will do. Tang Xiaolin, that fool is already suspicious. When I collect the evidence, you will be notorious and go to the prison for the rest of your life. Ah, by the way, your little daughter? I didn't expect her to be so lucky. Once you're in prison, I'll take her to the lab. When she dies, I'll throw her into the cave. How about just being buried with those two bastards with them and getting them together? Tell you, Mo, you bastard, how dare you? Mom, what are you doing? Who is this aunt? Tian Tian, you go to your room first, don't come out. Well, this is the little bastard, right? It seems that she looks a lot like you. Tia's aunt, you're not only ugly, but also so fierce. Be careful that no man wants to marry you. By the way, I recorded all the words you just said. I also heard you say that all people of the Mu family are idiots. And you want to do some experiments. As long as I press this button, the recording will be sent to the police. Hey baby, I was just joking with your mother. You come to me, that's sugar for you to eat. Aunt, you abused my mother just now. Shouldn't you apologize to her? Ah, right, 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 right. I apologize, Tian Tian. <laughs> Tell you, Mo, let go of my daughter quickly, or I'll call the police immediately. Shut up, you threaten me first. This needle is filled with something newly developed by my mother. As long as I give her an injection, your daughter will die immediately. Try it if you don't believe me. Tell you, Monk, don't you just want my life? You let my daughter go, you can do whatever you want to me. Whatever I want? Yes. Now you jump out of the window at once. I want your daughter to watch you die. Mom, no! Daddy, wake up quickly! Help my mother! Wait a minute, I changed my mind. It's too easy for you to die. I want you to call Master Shen now and tell him that you are an imposter. And tell him that you lied to move family. In fact, you're a bitch that any man can fuck. Will you let my daughter go if I do this? Stop talking nonsense. Hurry up. Daddy, please help me and mommy. Don't fucking scream, didn't I tell you? The man lying on the bed is a vegetable and a disabled person. It's no use screaming. Get off her. And who did you say was disabled? Daddy, help me. Mu Qingyuan, how is that possible? Qingyuan... Is Mu family's security system already so weak? How dare they let you into my bedroom? Mu Xiao, she's not Su Qingtian who's ready to marry you, she is... Qingyuan has already woken up, what nonsense are you still talking about? Marry me? She's Xiaolin's friend. But I don't know why she was so excited when she saw me from the beginning. And even she followed me to your bedroom. Fortunately, you woke up in time and saved Tian Tian. Let me arrange for security to take her down. Jiang Yumeng, Jing Yuan has already woken up. You should know his temperament very well. If you don't want to die so badly, just say it, bitch. Mu Xiao, I'm Jing Yaomeng from the Jing family. We've always cooperated. It's the Jiang family who makes medical instruments. You, these small companies, even dare to say that you have cooperation with the Mu family. Mu Sha. While I still have some patience, get out of here at once. Bitch. Don't be so arrogant. Although Mu Xiao has woken up, your future life will not be good. Just wait and see. Miss Zhang, have you finished speaking? Please leave here at once. Don't disturb our reunion. Mom, Dad is awake. Can I play with my father now? Tian Tian, be good. This uncle just woke up. We wait for him to have a rest, okay? Mr. Mu, please take a rest first. 
I will find a suitable opportunity to explain all this to you. Wait a minute. Let the child go and you stay. What the hell is going on here? What happened to my body? Mr. Moo, you just woke up. It's normal to have no strength. You need to have a good rest. Get out! Get your dirty hands off me. Who are you and that woman just now? What's your purpose of appearing at my house? Mr. Moo, this matter is very complicated to explain. All in all, I am Su Qingqian. I am the wife that Master Mu arranged for you. My wife? I didn't promise to marry you. Uh, you were sent by my grandfather. Uh, just let him take you back. Go wherever you come from. Do you understand? I'm not going anywhere. I am sent by Master Mu. Whether you accept me or not, I will stay. Until you recover. Ah! Woman! How dare you do this to me? You can still feel the pain. It means that your leg nerve has not been damaged. You've just been in a coma for so long that you can't stand up for the time being. You're not a doctor. I don't need you to diagnose anything. Get out of here! Mr. Moo, your organs are still there. And their physiological functions have not completely disappeared. It means that you are still a normal man. What a shameless woman you are. Who I need face for. I want you to get better soon. Only when you recover can I be Mrs. Moo. And live the life of a wealthy wife. Get out of here. Fuck off. I don't want to see you now. My cousin, you finally woke up. You don't even know that during your coma. Our grandpa arranged this dirty woman in order to make you recover quickly. She also bullied me. Ting Yuan, is there anything wrong with you? So Ting Tian, my cousin has never been touched by another woman. You massage him and clean his body these days. My cousin will not spare you easily. Shaolin, what did you say? Is she giving me a massage these days? Ting Yuan, you woke up today. This woman is of no use. This woman told me that she was the wife arranged by my grandfather to make me recover quickly. Yes, the master always has his own calculations. Mom, cousin won't have a crush on this woman, will he? The appearance makes me feel sick. I told you my cousin is absolutely not allowed to tolerate you this inferior stuff stayed here. You better get out of Moo family with your bastard. What's going on between our husband and wife? You are not qualified to interrupt. What's more, the Master Mu once said that I am the one who is good for Jing Yuan. If you are so presumptuous again, I will report to the Master how you don't respect your cousin's wife. Pei, a shameless woman like you, you don't deserve to be my sister-in-law. Step aside. Let me take care of my cousin. Mr. Mu has always been taken care of by me. He needs to rest now. You better keep your hands off. Look at her, cousin. You go out first. Let me talk to her alone. Cousin! I told you to get out first. Can't you understand? I know you were in front of me just now, because you don't want them to know that I can't stand up yet. Now they are all gone. Tell me, what is your purpose of coming to our family? I think I've made myself clear. My marrying you is the Master's Moo's idea. Have you forgotten? When I was in a coma in bed, I heard you talking to yourself. You mentioned the man that night. How can you hear me? Would you like me to go on? Also, you said that I like men, and who you really are. Real identity? Did I spill the beans before? No, I didn't say anything. It must be a hallucination. Let me go. Which part of you I haven't seen? Don't worry, you're not my type. By the way, Mr. Moo, did you forget? You can't stand up yet. Some people in Haichung City wish you had died in that car accident. You are awake now. But if you still can't stand up, if this gets out... What exactly do you want to do? What I want is simple. Let me stay and take care of you until you recover. Don't even dream about it. Although I can't stand up now, crushing you is as simple as crushing an ant. You are not qualified to make a deal with me. You are awake, Mr. Shao. The master has come back from abroad, and the board of directors are downstairs waiting for your instruction. Mr. Mu, the people on the board said they were waiting for your instructions, but in fact they just wanted to see if you had recovered. Do you want me to tell them now that you can stand up? Su Chen Chen. If you let me stay with you, 
I will help you with the rest. Who are you? Where's Jing Yan? Isn't he already awake? Let me introduce myself. I'm Su Xinxian, Mu Jing Yuan's newly married wife. Jing Yan just woke up. If you have anything to say, I'll tell it to him for you. It is impossible. Jing Yan never lets others interfere in his work. I'm going up to see him. Stop. I'm the young lady of the Mu family now. I will handle everything related to Jing Yuan. And I think you can understand what I'm saying. I grew up with Jing Yuan together. Why didn't I know that he married another woman? You must have done something secretly. Perhaps Jing Yuan didn't wake up now. Housekeeper, tell her who I am. Miss Simeng, Miss Su is indeed Mu Xiao's wife. Impossible! Jing Yuan, he obviously likes... Jing Yuan asked me to tell you that he will have to rest for a few more days and will not see visitors for the time being. I won't leave here until I see Jing Yuan. Yes, even if you are Jing Yuan's wife. And now that he's awake, it shouldn't matter if we go up and pay a visit. I think you should know Jing Yuan's temperament very well. In case you disturb him to rest, the consequences are beyond my control. Manager Meng, why don't we go first? Let's come back in two days. I will not leave. How can Jing Yuan like a woman like you? He won't marry you at all. Whether he likes me or not is not up to you. The relationship between Mu Jingyuan and me is better than you think. Do you want me to tell you more details one by one? You're a bitch! In what way did you seduce Jingyuan? What kind of ecstasy did you give him? Housekeeper, see the guests off. Mr. Mu, I've sent the people on the board of directors away for you. They think you're just too weak. And they don't know that you can't stand up. It's getting late. Let me give you a massage. Get your dirty hands off me. I don't need your massage. Call a private doctor for me. Mr. Moo, you're cuter when you're asleep. I'll send someone to investigate your identity. If I find out that you are not the real Su Chen Chen, then I will not let you and the Su family who protect you go. Mr. Mu, I am the wife appointed by the Master Mu for you. No matter whether I'm from the Su family or not, I've already married you. Why don't you settle accounts with me? When you can really stand up. How do you think? After all, you don't want to be known by anyone except me about the fact that you can't stand up. I don't want to see you now. Give me out! Don't worry. Although your physiological function is still normal, I'm not interested in you. I have a lot of pursuers. I won't like an old bacon like you. I'm just doing my duty as a wife. To give you a massage. You really don't know how dangerous you are now. You dare tie me up? Untie me! You'll be much more obedient this way. These days you've been in a coma, I dare not shave your beard. You look untrimmed and sloppy. Don't move. Do you want me to tie you tighter? When I stand up, I will kill you. Well, then wait until you can really stand up. You be gentle. What are you doing again? From tonight on, I will sleep next to you. Who allows you to sleep next to me? Get your ass in another room. What's wrong with sleeping next to you? I'm your wife. Or shall we sleep together? Stay back. Fuck off. Xiaoxia, be good. The bastards in your belly can't be born. Just let your aunt help you out. Mom, don't let her go. Kill the babies in her belly. Fuck off my kids. My kids, don't touch my kids. Ah, oh, it was a dream. But I'm so scared. Su Chen Chen. Huh? What happened? You say what's wrong? Have you had enough hugs? Get up quickly. Why am I in your bed? This sentence should be for me to ask you, right? Didn't you say you weren't interested in me? Now you were in such a hurry to climb into my bed? You really are thirsty. Mu Jing Yan, you stop talking nonsense. You said I climbed into your bed. Do you have any evidence? 
Maybe you secretly put me to bed. While I was asleep at night. <laughs> Su Chen Chen, is there something wrong with your brain? My legs are like this now. How can I carry you to bed? I don't care. Even if I climb into your bed by myself, what's wrong? We're legally recognized husband and wife now. You just can't stand up. And it's not without physiological function. You? Hey, I don't really remember your performance last night. Why don't we try again today? You can't stand up, but I don't want to have no sex. I don't mind having another baby for you. Chen Chen, you have helped us Jing Yuan too much. It's not long since you got married, and Jing Yuan woke up. Master, I may have to live up to your expectations. Jing Yuan is very resistant to me. Hmm? Really? I'm old, but my eyes can see everything clearly. I can see that he cares about you. It's really not easy for you to lie in a bed with him. I think it won't be long before our family will have a grandson. <laughs> Mom, where did you go yesterday? Were you with Dad? Hey, who is this Grandpa? Tian Tian Ko and Grandpa Mu. Is this your daughter Tian Tian? Well, she really bears a resemblance to our Jing Yuan. You and Jing Yuan really have a fate. Grandpa Mu, are you my dad's dad? Uh, yes, in the future. I am your grandpa. Mom, is it true that as long as we have grandpa and dad around, no one will dare to bully us? There's a fierce aunt in this family. I'm scared. Chen Chen, you prepare to send Tian Tian to our group's kindergarten. I'll see who dares to bully her. Oh, by the way, although Jing Yuan has woken up, he still needs time to recover. The Mu group can't live without the person in power. I've decided to let you go inside the group to help Jing Yuan manage some affairs. I waited for five years and finally got this chance. Ling Yuxin, Jiang Yumeng. Wait and see. Grandpa, don't be fooled by this woman! Xiaolin, Chen Chen is your sister-in-law now. Show her some respect. Grandpa, does she deserve to be my sister-in-law? Besides, with her ability, she doesn't even deserve to carry our group. It's up to me whether she deserves it or not. Grandpa, I disagree. Stop it! If you hadn't been doing nothing all day, will I let your sister-in-law come to the company? Chen Chen is an international student in a foreign business school. As for how to manage the company, she knows better than you. When Chen Chen enters her company, you can be her assistant and let her know the company affairs as soon as possible. Grandpa, I'm the princess of Mu family and you want me to help her? Okay, that's settled. I don't want to say anything else. Chen Chen, let's go. Go out to play with Grandpa. What despicable means did you use, Su Qing Tian? I can't believe you let my grandfather trust you so much. Tang Xiaolin, you should have heard what the master said just now. From now on, you have to help me with my work. This is the way you treat your boss? You bitch, I'm gonna rip you off. You little bitch, how dare you hit me? What you do to me, I will do to you. That's fair. Don't be so arrogant. Even if you enter our Moo group, neither the board nor Sister Simone will admit you and that little bitch you gave birth to. Don't let me seize the opportunity or I'll kill her. Tang Xiaolin, I warn you. Let go! Speak! Hey, hey, hey! Do you all know? Manager Mu's new wife will come to our company today. Yes, it is said that she was appointed by Master Mu. Mrs. Mu will be responsible for the internal affairs of the group. Huh? Her status is so low. How can Moo family value her, right? Hello, Mrs. Moo. Secretary Wong, you go and get me the documents that the company has to deal with recently. Oh, by the way, you check for me what cooperation projects the Hai Chung's young family and our Moo family have recently. Yes, Mrs. Moo. Meng? Manager Meng, why are you here? Get out of my way! I have something to ask this woman. Secretary Wong, you go out first. Let me handle this here. Yes, Mrs. Mu. I didn't expect Master Mu to really let you into the group. Do you deserve it? Manager Li, I am Mu Jingyuan's lawful wife. And if I don't deserve it, do you? Just give up. Ching Yuan. He has a woman he likes. Besides, once Master Mu finds out your cheap means, 
You'll have a terrible death then. Really? I've heard that sentence more than ten times. It's so boring. You can put it any other way next time. You bitch. As long as I'm here. You can't stay in the group safely. Then we will wait and see. Oh, by the way, close the door for me when you go out. Su Chen Chen, do you really think of yourself as Mrs. Mu? Yo, isn't this my husband? I just started going out to work. You come here to stay with me. So clingy. What I'm worried about is the group, not you. I like your duplicity. What do you want to do, woman? Massage for you. After sitting for so long, your legs should be numb, right? Let me rub them for you. I don't need your help. Go and get me a glass of water. I'm thirsty. Shall I feed you? There is something wrong with my legs, not my hands. Su Chen Chen, did you do it on purpose? Oh, sorry. Don't move. I'll wipe it for you. Why are you unbuttoning me? Mu Shao, how can I help you wipe your body without unbuttoning your buttons? Don't worry. Which part of you from head to toe I haven't wiped for you? I have experience. Are you experienced? If you have experience, can I still be scalded by water? The doctor said that patients should not have too much mood swings. What are you doing? Let go of your hand. Uh, let go! Are you okay? Did you get hurt? Let me help you up. Oh no, it's too late. You find a place to hide quickly. I'll deal with them. It is a joke. I am the president of Mugu. Do I still need to hide? I don't think you want to be known that you can't stand up yet and need a wheelchair. Help me up. Come in. Mrs. Moo, we have made an appointment with Jiang family to meet at 3 p.m. In addition, the people on the board of directors said that Manager Moo had woken up. They've always wanted to visit Mr. Moo. What do you think we should do? Okay, I see. I'll make reasonable agreements. You can go out. Okay, I see. You go out first. Uh, Mrs. Moo? It's none of your business here. Go out. What? There's a strange man hiding in the bitch's office? I didn't see that man. But there's a man's voice, so I'm also not sure who he... Well, this bitch really has easy virtue. She took advantage of Jing Yun's absence to have an affair with another man in the office. Wait for her to let her guard down, and I'll take someone in to catch her red-handed. Mu Yen, are you a dog? Why did you bite me? How dare you? What dare I do? You should thank me. How thrilling that was. You were almost exposed. What are you doing with makeup? Who do you have an appointment with? Don't forget your own identity. I dare not forget. I'm still waiting for you to get better soon and be a rich wife. You heard it too. I have an appointment with young family this afternoon. I'm going to talk about charity medical with Let them. Let me go with you. Don't be so clingy. Be good. I'll keep you informed of the progress. By the way, bodyguards will come in through the secret passage later. They will take you back to your home. Su Chen Chen, are you ordering me? I do this out of my wife's concern for her husband. Go home first and I will give you a massage when I get back. Fight for an early recovery, my dear husband. You stop! Hello, Miss Su. I'm Lin Yuxin from Xiang Group. Lin Yuxin, open your eyes and see who I am. I don't quite understand what Miss Su said. Play dumb with me? You calculate everything. I guess you didn't expect me to be alive and still appear in front of you, my good aunt. Aunt? Miss Su is from the Su family. Is it appropriate to call me aunt? Well, I do have a niece, but she died in the fire in Chen family a few years ago. I have been worried about this matter. Li Yuxin, how long are you going to play dumb? This cup of coffee was flown in from Italy. It tastes good. My niece Xiao Xue, she used to love this. Miss Su might as well have a try.
Xiao Shui. Xiao Shui. Hey, Dad. Come and try the coffee that Dad made for you. Well, just for this coffee. I went to many places to buy these coffee beans. Look at your dad. In order to try the beans for you, he drank many kinds of coffee. He's old. He hardly takes his body seriously. Dad, you're in poor health. Don't drink coffee again. You are our little princess. No matter what dad does, it's worth it. Dad. The way Miss Sue looks, did you think of something sad? Li Yuxin, it's all your fault. Miss Sue, we first met. Why are you so hostile to me? In the past five years, I can't wait to cramp and skin you and throw your body on my dad's grave to atone. You... Li Yuxin, what did you give me to drink? Xiao Xue, I didn't expect that after five years. You really didn't get smarter at all. You are... as stupid as before. You're so despicable. If I were you, I will never come to the appointment alone. Nor will I drink coffee handed by others. Xiao Xue, Xiao Xue, you are so lucky. I didn't expect you to live to this day. It seems that I was still too kind. Not seeing you die with my own eyes. How dare you! I am now the young lady of Mu family. Everyone in Mu group knows that. I came to see you today. If you dare to do anything to me, Mu family will definitely not let you go. You can rest assured that I'm not as stupid as you. I have a hundred ways to make you more miserable than death. The efficacy should be about the same. Yimang, Shen Nanxie is with me. I have drugged her to pass out. Get some trams here quickly. Great, that bitch is finally in our hands. Now I'm gonna go find some dirtiest and smelly vagrants to gang rape her. Remember that this matter must be kept secret. Bring a camera and record it as a video. Send it to all famous family groups in Haichung City. Only by discrediting her... How is that possible? I obviously drugged you. You did many experiments on me in those days. My body already has antibodies. I choose to drink that cup of coffee just to relax your vigilance. My good aunt. It seems that after five years, you were the one who became stupid. And what you just said, I have recorded it all with a recording pen. You better not play any tricks with me. Otherwise, what you did to my family in those days was known to move family. And you, young family, wouldn't have a good result. Xiao Xue, Xiao Xue, don't be impulsive. There is something we can talk about. Xiao Yumen said before, you left my son in the back hill of the laboratory after he failed in the experiment. Is what she said true? Yes, yes. You did give birth to a son in those days. But he was born without breathing. You poisonous bitch, I'll kill you and avenge my son. Wait, Xiao Xie, wait, I'm not finished. At that time, your son was really not breathing. But when I left, I, I heard him crying. Later, I went to the back hill again. But his body is gone. Is it gone? Do you mean my son may still be alive? Yes. Xiao Xie, think about it. I'll check the whereabouts of your son for you. Let me go first, okay? I promise. I promise. I'll never bother you again. We will never owe each other again, okay? Our Shenyang family was burned clean by a big fire from you. You killed both my father and my mother. You should have gone to 18 levels of hells a long time ago. You can live to this day just to let you die at my hands. Mom! Shenanxia, you smelly woman, let go of my mother. If you don't want your mother to die, get out of here. Yuxin, Yuxin, listen to her. Stay back. Stay back. Xiaoxia, can you let me go now? Listen carefully, Lin Yuxin. The things that you bankrupted the Shen family and killed my parents, I will never let you go like this. You and Jiang Yumon had better choose your cemetery in advance. Don't wait until you're dead and there's nowhere to go. Shen Anxia, I've already called the police. The police will come soon. I've recorded all the phone records between you and Li Yuxin with a voice recorder. I don't mind going to the police station to talk about it. What are you still doing? Catch her! Grab the recording pen back! This is very important evidence. We can't let the recorder fall into their hands.
That's not right, big brother. I just saw this woman running in. Why is there no one in the blink of an eye? Hey, the little kid. Did you see a woman running in? I'm asking you a question. Are you dumb? Well, how dare you stare at me? Hey, big brother, calm down. He may be the youngest son of the Luo family. We can't afford to mess with him. Luo family? Is that the Luo family with both government forces and underworld uh, yes, forces? Yes, yes, yes. We can't mess with them. Uh, let's walk around. Go. Uh, I don't believe that we can't find that woman. Go and look elsewhere. Beauty Auntie, come out quickly. Those bad guys have gone. Oh, thank you, little friend. Why are those bad guys chasing you, Auntie? Because Aunt just punished the bad guys. They want to chase me. It doesn't matter. This is all my territory. I'll protect you. And you look so beautiful. I seem to have seen you somewhere. Could I add Auntie WeChat? Little friend, you don't even have a phone. How to add me to WeChat? I have this. This is a watch developed by myself. It can automatically add friends. So you are good. Then I dare not give you my WeChat. I promise you as a professional hacker, Chennai. As long as you tell me your WeChat, I will not check your identity. Are you Chennai? The five-year-old genius hacker? You can also develop your own watches. All the information matches. Huh? Does Aunt know about me? Every time Madam takes the medicine, she will let out her anger on this little bastard. If I were her, I'd send him to an orphanage. In this way, she doesn't have to annoy because of him. How is that possible? I obviously drugged you. You did many experiments on me in those days. My body already has antibodies. I choose to drink that cup of coffee just to relax your vigilance. My good aunt. It seems that after five years, you were the one who became stupid. And what you just said, I have recorded it all with a recording pen. You better not play any tricks with me. Otherwise, what you did to my family in those days was known to move family. And you, young family, wouldn't have a good result. Xiaoxie, Xiaoxie, don't be impulsive. There is something we can talk about. Xiang Yimun said before, you left my son in the back hill of the laboratory after he failed in the experiment. Is what she said true? Yes, yes. You did give birth to a son in those days. But he was born without breathing. You poisonous bitch. I'll kill you and avenge my son. Wait, Xiaoxie. Wait, I'm not finished. At that time, your son was really not breathing. But when I left, I, I heard him crying. Later, I went to the back hill again. But his body is gone. Is it gone? Do you mean my son may still be alive? Yes. Xiaoxie, think about it. I'll check the whereabouts of your son for you. Let me go first, okay? I promise. I promise. I'll never bother you again. We will never owe each other again, okay? Our Shenyang family was burned clean by a big fire from you. You killed both my father and my mother. You should have gone to 18 levels of hells a long time ago. You can live to this day just to let you die at my hands. Mom! Shenanxia, you smelly woman, let go of my mother. If you don't want your mother to die, get out of here. Tian Tian, go back to your room with mom. Let uncle have a rest first. No, I just hooked up with dad. He's going to sleep with me. Tian Tian, you go and play with grandpa first. Wait until mom gives this uncle a massage and then let him sleep with you, okay? Where did you go today? Why did you come back so late? I'm asking you a question. Where did you go today? Mr. Mu, can you keep quiet for a while? I'll give you a good massage. Su Chen Chen, uh, don't push your luck. I have done my utmost to not kick you out. You now put on this depressed look? To who? Did you cry? Nothing. Who bullied you? The Jiang family? Okay, now that you don't want to talk about it, then forget I asked. But I advise you. You'd better think about your own future in the meantime. You won't be able to stay here when I'm completely recovered. Do you hate me so much? Honestly, I don't hate you. But I don't like you either. I just have no feelings for you. Lin Yuxin and Jiang Yumeng already know that I'm still alive. If I leave Mu family at this time, they will definitely kill me. Only by staying here can Tian Tian and I have a glimmer of a life. Then I have a chance to avenge for my family. But all this depends on Mu Jingyuan. He has no resistance to me now. It's time to do something. To make him fall in love with me. Are you crazy? Do you feel anything? 
Or you need other stimulation. The doctor said that your senses should be more stimulating. It will help you recover. Su Chi Chen, what exactly have you been stimulated by today? I didn't see anything just now. May I come in and sleep with you two now? Tian Tian, go sleep in the other room with Mom. Let's not disturb Uncle Mu's rest. Tian Tian, come here. Sleep next to Uncle tonight, no? Next to Dad. You don't think too much. I just promised Tian Tian. I want to keep my word. Mom, how is my acting just now? Mu Jingyuan. What? How about we make a deal? You give me a year, I will do everything I can to make you stand up. A year later, I will divorce you and leave Mu family with Tian Tian. Su Tian Tian, why on earth did you marry me at the beginning? I did have a purpose when I married into Mu family, but I promise I didn't hurt you. The story's very long. When you're really willing to accept me, I will tell you the details. You don't talk, I'll take it as your consent. You? The doctor said that your senses should be more stimulating. This will help you recover. Actually, I always thought I'd meet you somewhere. Is it really Mu Jingyuan who slept with me that night five years ago? Please think again where you've seen me. I don't remember. Ever since I woke up from a car accident, some memories have been lost. I just think you look familiar. Five years ago, did you go to a place called the Star Hotel? The Star Hotel? Impossible. I was studying abroad at this time, five years ago. I won't go there at all. Ah, uh, sleep. Are you going to sleep now? Hey. If you don't want to sleep, it's okay for me to have sex with you. Don't be so presumptuous, you woman. You're a man. Don't be so conservative. Qing Dynasty long ago perished. <sighs> How are you feeling today? Cut the crap. Continue to press. How about this? I know you're taking personal revenge. I fell, it's still not enough. Or I sit on your lap? Maybe you will have a physiological reaction. If your thigh is stimulated, you may be able to stand up. You really don't behave yourself. I think this is a good idea. Sure enough, there's a man's voice. Secretary Wong, are you sure you saw him today? Hmm. In Manager Mu's office, there is a direct access to the underground parking lot. I saw a man in Mr. Mu's car today. As for whether he went upstairs or not? Well, this bitch. I have to catch her red-handed today. Su so, Tian, open the door! Manager Mu, your crazy admirer is going to do something again. Just lock the door and leave her alone. Stop knocking, I'm working! If you have anything, we'll talk about it later. You bitch, are you cheating on a wild man in there? So you dare not open the door with a guilty conscience? I am now the acting president of Moo Group. Watch your mouth. Open the door if you can. Secretary Wong, open the door for me. Open the door, quickly! I bear the responsibility. You bitch, I finally caught him. Caught what? Jing Yan! How could you do such a thing with her in the office? Manager Lee, what my husband and I are doing in the office should not be reported to you. Jing Yan! It's impossible, you won't like her! Li Meng, should you explain to me first? What did you bring security to my office? You know I hate the person who is self assertive. I just. I just thought she was having an affair with a wild man in the office. I'm afraid she lied to you, so I broke in. I didn't do it on purpose. You have worked here for five years, too. You should know how to respect my wife. Jing Yuan. Hey, let me add one thing. I don't think you can call him Jing Yuan directly. In the future, you should call my husband Manager Mu, like everyone else in the company. Okay, okay. 
As for this matter, it's your first time to do so, so I'll give you a chance. If this happens again next time, you go directly to the personnel department to resign. Darling, you were so manly just now. Don't flatter yourself. I just did this to get rid of her. What's more, you frivolous woman, stop touching me so easily. What happened if I touched you? Which part of you I haven't touched? This feels good. Keep it up. Su Chin Chan, how shameless can you be? Hey, hey, Xiaxie, Lin Yuxin is trying to sell your father's paintings now. One of Uncle Shen's paintings is worth hundreds of millions. If she really sold them all, it would be terrible. It's not convenient for me now. Let me talk to you later. Who's calling? Shh. It's a dog from my friend's neighbor's brother's aunt's house. It is said that it has been a little anorexia lately. So she calls me and asks me how to solve this matter. How? Do you still work part-time as a veterinarian? I am not only a part-time veterinarian, but also your personal nurse. I have something to go out for. You wait for me at home. Call me if you need anything. I have asked about it for you, Xiaoxie. Lin Yuxin made an appointment with a mysterious buyer today to sell your father's paintings. She didn't have my father's authorization at all, but she dared to resell my father's paintings? She played this wishful thinking too well. In the eyes of Haishong people, your Shen family has long been destroyed by a fire. And Lin Yuxin is your mother's real-life sister. Emotionally and rationally, she is qualified to deal with this inheritance. Do you know who the mysterious buyer is? I think the person's identity should be above mine. I checked him for a long time, but no information about him was found. However, I know the specific location of today's transaction. You say if there is a person who is more qualified to inherit this heritage is than Lin Yuxin. Xiaoxie, what do you want to do? Don't forget, you were the daughter of Su family now. It is impossible to use the identity of Shen family again. Xin Chen, you have been studying abroad for so many years. The people in Haicheng City haven't seen you at all. So I want you to be the daughter of Shen family instead of me. I need you to stop Lin Yuxin. The paintings of my father belong to the Shen family. On no account can he buy them. Okay, so what should I do? You should take the initiative to contact this buyer before he has a deal with Lin Yuxin and explain the real situation to him. The person who can buy my dad's paintings must be a big shot and generally won't force others. Okay, I'll take care of this. Xin Tian, what's going on? Everything's going well. After I explained to him that I was Shen Nanxue, he expressed his willingness to meet me. Now I'm going to find him in a private room. Be sure to pay attention to your safety. If you find anything wrong, I'll wait for you in the private room outside. I'll rush in at any time. Not good. What if there's something wrong with Qing Qian? Su Qin Qian? Why are you here at this time? Or have you been following me? I calculate everything. Why didn't I count that this buyer could be Mu Jingyuan? I'm here to catch the rape. If I don't follow you, how do you know that you secretly meet other women behind my back? Go ahead. Who is this woman? This young lady, I think you misunderstood. This is the first time I met this gentleman. What are you talking about? Mu Zingyan, you're so cruel! It's not enough to marry me. You unexpectedly meet other women behind my back? This lady... Let me explain to you. I really have nothing to do with this gentleman. I won't listen, no matter who you are. Seducing my husband is just not allowed. You get out of here now. I need to talk to my husband alone. Okay, just take it easy. Mr. Mu, as for my dad's painting, let's talk about them later when we have a second chance. Mu Jingyan, you're so cruel. It's not enough to get married, and you have to secretly meet women outside? Su Chin Chen, what the hell are you playing with me? Or have you been following me? If I don't follow you, how could I know that you were secretly meeting another woman outside? It will be the 80th birthday of my grandpa in two days. He likes Shen Yanping's landscape paintings very much. But I heard that all the Shen family died in a fire five years ago. I'm here to buy his legacy. As a gift to my grandpa. The landscape painting is Dad's most proud work. He once said that his painting would be my dowry. But now it has been resold by Lin Yuxin. I know Teacher Shen's paintings, but he paints only out of hobby and his paintings doesn't really circulate in the market. He's already dead. If these paintings don't come out again, who will remember his name in the future? He paints not for fame and fortune, but for... You look like this? You seem to know Xian Yangping very well. Ugh, I can't say any more. It will arouse his suspicion. After all, the temper of artists is relatively lofty. Since you didn't have a private meeting with another woman, I'll forgive you for the time being. Come on, let's go home. 
Let's go home. Shen Nen Shui, do you really think I can't see these tricks you are playing clearly? I can't understand what you're saying. I know you know that woman just now, but your acting skills are too poor. As soon as I leave our house, you follow me at once. So I deliberately set up a bureau to lure you here. You really fell for it. Is that Shen Yan Ping related to you? I've sent someone to check on you. The Su family does have a daughter, but I don't know what this daughter looks like. Mu Jingyuan, I told you the other day. Give me a year and I will help you get better. I have absolutely no intention of hurting you. Could you trust me? I was possessed before. And I will never allow a person with unknown identity to stay in the Mu family. Tonight, just pack your bags and leave with your daughter. Dad, I'm sorry. I failed to be a good daughter. I failed to bring the Jiang family who killed you to justice. I thought I could do it. But it is too weak to rely on my own strength. Dad, will you blame me if you were in the spirit of heaven? Xiao Shui, are you naughty again? Dad, there are so many people outside who want to buy your paintings. Why don't you sell them? The paintings that Dad drew? No matter how much they cost, I, I won't sell them. I'll make them your dowry in the future. Dad, I'm not getting married. I want to live together with you and Mother forever. Oh, okay, my daughter. Must find the most capable and best man in the world in the future. Otherwise, no one else has a chance. <laughs> Mrs. Moo, where have you been? Mrs. Moo, please come back quickly. Moo Sahau, there is something wrong with his health. Ching Yuan, are you having a leg ache? Didn't I tell you to leave the Moo family? Why did you come back? You also get out of here. All of you go out. I'll take care of Xin Yuan. Is this any better? You... you go out too! Don't worry. I'll leave as soon as you feel better. You have a fever. Is it caused by leg inflammation? Wait, I'll get your medicine. Why not drink? Or do you want me to feed you mouth to mouth? Su Chen Chen, in fact, you know, my legs won't get any better. Mu Jingyuan, at least you're the young master of Mu family. You stamp your foot, and the whole Haichung city will shake a few minutes. Why are you so unambitious now? I'm still waiting for you to get better soon. I don't want to be a grass widow. Su Chen Chen, in fact, you know, my legs were badly damaged in the car accident at that time. I may have to spend the rest of my life in a wheelchair. Mu Jingyuan. Actually, getting along with you these days, I find that you're not as terrible as rumors. You're also a living person, and you have your own joys and sorrows. If your leg injury can't be cured in one year, we'll treat it for two years. It doesn't matter, I'll stay with you. Anyway, I'm also a woman with a bad reputation. Nobody wants me except you. Su Chen Chen. Do you really want to stay with me? Yes, I want to, but I also need your consent. After all, a twisted melon is not sweet. If I can't stand up in my life, will you? Even if you can't stand up all your life, I'm also willing to marry you. There are women waiting in line outside who want to marry you. I got such a good chance. I feel very happy. Okay, I'll give you a year. If I haven't recovered within one year, then you can't leave. Even if you die, you will die at Mu family. Mu Shao, it's romantic for others to intercede. Why do you look like you're going to double suicide with me? By the way, there is one more thing I want to make clear to you. I hate cheating. 
I can accept you and Tian Tian, but I'm not allowed you to cheat me. If there's anything you're not telling me, I hope you'd better tell me in advance. I see. I won't cheat you. Much better now, right? Your leg pain must be caused by going around these days. Starting tomorrow, just stay at home. I will give you physical therapy every day. Hmm. Why are you suddenly embarrassed? I didn't expect you, the president of Moo Group, to be so pure. Haven't you touched any other women except me? How frivolous you are. You can only say those words to me from now on. If I hear you say these words to other men in the future, I'll break your legs and lock you up. All right, all right. I'll listen to you in the future, okay? It's getting late. It's time for you to rest. I will go out first. Call me again if you need anything. Stay in my room and sleep with me tonight. Do I hear wrong? I can't believe this is coming from your mouth. It's up to you. Uh, stay or not. Since Mu Xiao has kindly invited me, I have to accept it gladly. Uh, Su Chin Chin, what are you doing? Help you change your pajamas. Hey, haven't you eaten well recently? You used to have abs. Now there are only bones left. I'll make a recipe tomorrow. Let the cook do according to it. Help you get your abdominal muscles back. Uh, no need. Uh, I'll arrange it myself. Mu Shao, do you misunderstand? It's for my own sake. Help you get your abdominal muscles back. And I'll feel more comfortable holding you to sleep in the future. <laughs> you woman. Baby, baby, where are you? My babies! My babies, where are you? My babies, where are you? Mom's coming to save you! Bitch, your bastard son was already thrown into the cave and killed by me. There are only a pile of bones left in his body. <laughs> Just give up. You'll never see your son again. Fortunately, it was a dream. My son must still be alive. He must still be alive. Shh. Mom, wake up! The sunshine has already shone on your butt! Hmm, Tian Tian? Hey, why do I have a backache after sleeping all night? A kindergarten classmate Xiaohua will hold a birthday party. She's inviting other children to participate. Mom, you get dressed quickly. By the way, is Dad coming or not? Tian Tian, be good. Let Dad stay with you when he's fully recovered, okay? This morning I saw my father in good spirits. When he went out. Is it because mom sleeps with dad? If Tian Tian sleeps with dad too, dad should get better faster. Yes, we Tian Tian is the cleverest. Shen Tian Tian, is this your mother? Right, is my mother beautiful? Your mother didn't even carry any designer bags. It looks so poor. You've never been to such a big house, have you? My father brought many brand name bags for my mother. Which can fit in a room. I will invite you to visit our house on my birthday. Our bathroom is almost as big as your house. Hu oh, Shen Tian Tian, you're a liar. What you do is lie. Xiaohua. You can't be so rude to the guests. I'm sorry. Are you Tian Tian's mother, right? Children are outspoken. Please don't mind. It's okay. Children who are not sensible can be forgiven. That's good. Tian Tian, to play with Xiaohua. Oh, sorry, Mrs. Lee. I want to go to the bathroom first. I tell you, Mrs. Lee, that Tian Tian's mother, she looks like a poor woman. The little kid is also full of lies. She said that the bathroom in her home is even bigger than your house. It's a real laugh. Xiaohua said that Tian Tian always steals her thunder. These poor people have never seen the world. I'm giving them a scare today. Afterwards, let's see if she dares to steal my daughter's thunder again. Mom, Shin Tian Tian, this bastard bullied me! 
What happened? Who bullied you? Shenzhen Tian and Luo Zitong stole my hairpin. It was discovered by me. They also hit me. You're talking nonsense. This hairpin was given to me by my father. I don't give it to you, so you want to hit me. Fortunately, Brother Tong Tong protected me in time. I say, Tian Tian's mother, how do you usually educate your children? If I had known that your children had the habit of petty theft, I wouldn't have invited you over. Mrs. Li, this hairpin is indeed a gift from Tian Tian's father. It is your daughter who is lying. Is my daughter lying? Indeed, unruly people are all from into the badlands. No matter how they dress up, they still show the poverty of the poor. Our Xiaohua once said, "She has never seen Shen Tiantian's father." Your daughter is probably a shady, illegitimate daughter. Mrs. Li, I respect that you're the mother of my daughter's classmate. Please, you respect us too. Your daughter hid my daughter. If there is no explanation about this matter, it will not end today. Tian Tian, come here. To apologize to Xiao Hua. Sorry, Xiao Hua. Just apologize and it's over. If you don't pay tens of thousands of mental damage compensation for today, you won't get out of our house. Xiao Hua. My mother once said to me that this hairpin is very expensive. Even if you sell your house, you can't afford it. Now I give it to you, just like giving it to a beggar. You poor little bastard! I will rip your mouth off, bitch! Do you dare to grab my hand? My husband is the account manager of Mu Group. Mu Group? That's a coincidence. What you just wanted to hit was the daughter of the president of Mu Group. Mo Group's president is so distinguished with your poverty, you're not worthy to lift the president's shoes. With your poverty, you're not worthy to lift the president's shoes. Then keep your eyes open to see clearly. Hello, husband. Tianjin and I were bullied by others. Dad, the hairpin you gave me. My classmate said I stole it from her. She she also said that her father is the account manager of Mu Group. Ask us to pay a lot of money, otherwise we're not allowed to leave her house. Wow, acting is really a full set. How much did you spend to find an assistant? If he is the president of Mu Group, then my husband will be the master Mu. A poor family's pretending to be rich. Tian Tian, don't cry. Let's leave it to Dad. Husband, you're finally here. You prodigal bitch! I'll settle accounts with you later. Yeah, Mrs. Moo, I'm really sorry. It is our family who are not sensible. I'm sorry to trouble you and your daughter. Husband, what are you doing? Prodigal bitch, this is Miss Sue, the wife of President Moo. Come here and apologize to her quickly. I am an adult. I won't argue with children. Tian Tian, how do you want to handle this? Mom, Xiaowa just hit Brother Tong Tong, and I want her to apologize to Brother Tong Tong. Okay, okay, okay. Apologize to Brother Tong Tong. No, it's obviously their fault. You dead girl! Your father's job is on the line. Are you still stubborn? Today I have to teach you a lesson. Give Mrs. Mu an outlet. Wait. Children's lack of education is an adult's problem. The child is innocent. Don't take your anger out on the children. Xiao Hua, come here. Aunt knows that you are not a bad girl. What you want is this hairpin, right? Uh.、Mm. Afterwards, Aunt will buy you one and let Tian Tian give it to you as a birthday present. Okay? Is it true, Auntie? Yes. Xiao Hua, hurry up! Thanks, Miss. You don't need to thank me. You're fired from Mu Group. Oh, what? This is Mu. Please give me another chance. Please. No, Mrs. Mu. Mrs. Mu. Hello, I'm Lo Zitong's uncle, Lo Li Hua. Are you Tong Tong's uncle? I warn you, if you dare to mistreat Tong Tong again, I will definitely call the police and ask the reporter to expose your Li family's crimes.、Uh, sorry, Miss Su. I guess there must be some misunderstanding between us. Well, I invite you and Tian Tian to have dinner. I am the host. No need. We have other things to do. Beauty Auntie, please agree with my uncle's invitation. All right. Don't get me wrong. It was because of Tong Tong that I promised you. Tian Tian, you take Tong Tong out first. 
You go. Actually, I want to go there with Tong Tong today, but I didn't go in to avoid suspicion. Thanks to you, he was not bullied. The weasel pays New Year greetings in chicken. You are not kind. Tong Tong has suffered so much damage in your family. I've seen all those scars on his body. Tong Tong's only a child of several years old. How could you have the heart to hurt him? And his mother! Looking at such a lovely child, how can she do it? Actually, Tong Tong was brought up by me. He showed his talent in computer at an early age. I am also doing everything I can to cultivate him. I went abroad for something a while ago, so I just sent him to my sister's house. I didn't expect such a thing to happen. Then where is Tong Tong's real mother? In fact, Tong Tong is not really the Lowe's family's blood. His real mother passed away in childbirth when he was born. Has passed away? Throw this bitch and her two daughters into the sea to feed the fish. Continue to do experiments on that boy. Hey, Misu, what's wrong with you? I'm okay. You mean Tong Tong is not the child related by blood of the Luo family? Then who is his mother, do you know? I don't know either. Tong Tong is adopted by me in the welfare home. Do you have a specific address of the welfare home? Uh, that welfare home is owned by Hai Cheng. After I adopted Tong Tong there five years ago, it was demolished. Now it has become a warehouse for medical instruments in Hai Cheng City. Li Yuxin opened this welfare home, pretending to be charity. But how can this be called a welfare home? It is actually Li Yuxin's horrible experiment then. Mr. Lo, I have something urgent to handle. I have to leave. He will use hacking technology to help me investigate some things. If there is a result later, I will contact him. Uh, let me walk you. Brother Tong Tong, will you come to kindergarten next week? Sister Chan Chan, you are the daughter of the beautiful aunt. Don't be afraid. I will protect you. Brother Chong Tong, where's your mother? Uh, I don't have a mother. Brother Chong Tong, what do you think of my mother? In the future, you can treat her as your mother. Really? After that, you'll be my brother. Aunt, is it really okay? Yes, Aunt promises you. Before I help you find your real mother, I will be your mother. Great! I finally have a mother! Dad, you're so awesome today. You helped my mother and I punished the bad woman who bullied us. Thank you for today's things. I didn't mean to use the name of Moo Group. Nothing. Moo Group is so famous. It's appropriate to keep up appearances for you. Remember to inform me earlier next time. Don't wait for Tian Tian to be bullied before you call me. Xing Yan, thank you. Dad, it's good to have you. I decided to give my mother to you tonight. I asked her to sleep with you. Do you agree, Mom? Okay, Mom listens to Tian Tian. My cousin, look what this woman has done. I knew this woman was not a good person. Not long after she married you, she began to seduce wild men outside. I asked you where these photos came from. Can't you see clearly now, cousin? She's not a good person. I asked you where these photos came from. I got these photos from Yumong. Cousin, you don't worry. Yumong said that these photos would not be circulated. Xin Yuan, let me explain this to you. Shaolin, go and take a message to Jiang Yumeng. If I find out next time the Jiang family is monitoring Mrs. Mu's behavior again, I'll let Jiang family disappear completely in Hai Cheng City. What about this woman? Hasn't she corrupted our family style? So, Xin Tian, this is what happens when you seduce wild men outside. Sooner or later, my cousin will kick you out of our family. Who is this man? Xin Yuan, I can explain this to you. This man is the uncle of Chen Tian's classmate, Tong Tong. Are you disgusted that I am disabled? So you want to find someone who can stand up? Of course not. He's not as handsome as you, and not as rich as you. No matter how blind I am, I can't choose him. Oh my god, Su Tian Tian, you still be so shameless? How dare you say these words to my cousin? Good. You're conscious. Cousin, I can't believe you don't deal with her. Are you seduced by this woman? Tang Xiaolin, why didn't you inherit the IQ of your family at all? Just a few photos. It's obvious that this young family did something. Take you as a gun. But I should thank you very much. You indirectly cleared me of my suspicion. Can you go out now? I'm going to give my husband a massage. Su Ting Chen, don't think my cousin is protecting you now. Then you can get a foothold in our family. Just wait and see. Okay. What's going on today? Is it really necessary to tell Mu Jin Yuan about the welfare home? 
What I hate most is cheating. I can accept you and Tian Tian, but I will never allow you to cheat me if there's something you're not telling me. I hope you'd better tell me in advance. I better wait until Jin Yuan gets better before telling him. I promise I won't even look at other men in the future. Well, what guarantee do you have? How about this? If I touch other men again, I won't touch you anymore. What if I want to touch you? Well, if you want to touch me, it is not forbidden. And when you regain your walking ability, you can touch me all you want. So, what if I want to touch you? If you want to touch me, it's not impossible. When you regain your ability to walk, you can touch me all you want. Shen are you still a woman? I'm trying to motivate you to get better. It's called a reward and punishment system. Oh, the day after tomorrow. It's the birthday of Mr. Moo. The Moo family will welcome many guests. Clean yourself up. Don't embarrass the Moo family. But I haven't decided what to give him yet. You don't have to worry about that. I've got you covered. Then you'll have to show up. That's why I told you to dress up. On the old man's birthday, only you can receive guests on my behalf. This is also your official debut as the young lady of the Moo fam. How important is that? You should know that. Dad, did you hear that? I'm getting my feet steady in the Moo family. Please wait for me with Mom. I will avenge them for you. You've given all the photos to the Moo family, haven't you? Don't mention Tang Xiaolin, that idiot. She can't even be taught how to do it. She just called, said something threatening about the Jiang family. Stupid people have their advantages. At least it's easier to utilize. You have to keep pulling strings with Yu Meng and Tang Xiaoling. It might come in handy later. Mom, do we need to circulate that photo? At least it'll give that bitch a bad name. That's not necessarily. We can't afford to mess with the Luo family. Since Mu Jingyuan won't buy this, then we'll have to find another way. To find out the identity of the son of the Luo family, if he's really Shen Nanxue's son, he must be eliminated. Uh, Ms. Mu is waiting for you in the parlor. Please leave when you're finished. Grandpa Mu, I haven't seen you in days. Did you miss Tian Tian? Ah, uh, Tian Tian's been so good. Of course Grandpa misses you. Grandpa. Tian Tian, it's my birthday today. It's about time to introduce you to the whole city. I'm sure Jing Yuan gets along well with you. Well, Jing Yuan is very nice. We got along very well. Ah, uh, the master was right. You and Sweetie are both Jing Yuan's lucky stars. I'm relieved to have you take care of Jing Yuan. It's just that today is my birthday. It's also the first time the Mu family has faced a crisis. Both the board of directors and the rest of the family, they're all eyeing the Mu family. In the past, Jing Yuan was there. They can't do much. Now, if Jing Yuan's health... I'm afraid it's going to cause a lot of trouble. I'll leave the rest to you. Don't worry, Mr. Mo. I know what to do. As the young lady of the Mu family, I will never allow anyone to touch the Mu family. Hello, everyone. I'm Su Qingqian, wife of Mu Jingyuan of the Mu Group. Ms. Mu, today is Master Mu's birthday. Why don't you see Mr. Mu? If there's something wrong with his body... You'd have to tell us, wouldn't you? That's right. Moo doesn't show up. Send you a woman coming here. This is how the Moo family treats its guests? Don't worry, everyone. Moo didn't show up. Maybe he has something important to take care of. Something? It's more important than Master Moo's birthday? Is his health failing? So he has sent a woman to keep the peace. However, the Moo family isn't even married to a famous girl. She's just the daughter of a second-rate family. Hold your horses, everyone. Today is the birthday of our old man. Why does everyone look so emotional? Ugh, oh, don't say that. And I heard the bankers chasing after the Moo family to collect their debt. If the Moo family can't make it, a few of our partner companies could deliver you a little help. It's not a bad idea. <laughs> I can't deny what Mr. Chen said. The bank is indeed after my family's loan. There's only one difference. The bank is after the loan that we, the Moo family, made to the bank. 
Mr. Chen, I remember you owe the bank fifty million dollars. You're not begging the Mu family for the final payment. You're still fanning the flames. You? Oh yeah, and Mr. Wang, the project you recently bid on. It's the Mu family who feels sorry for you, so gave it to you. What Mu family don't give a glance? You're fighting hard behind your back. Oh yeah. The fly is small, but it's all meat after all. What are you babbling about? I earned it. I earned it. A man who depends on the Mu family. Now you're going to drop your bowl. It's the same bank that's chasing Mr. Chen for a loan. Yesterday they were looking for Jin Yuan, begging us to save up a couple hundred million dollars for an emergency, or they'll have to declare bankruptcy. Now it looks like there's no need for the Muggles to save, right, Mr. Chen? Young lady, look at what you're saying, Mr. Mu. He's got a lot on his mind. I'd like to ask the young lady to speak up for me more often in the future. I didn't realize that the young Mrs. Mu was so bold, Mr. Chen, Mr. Wang. You've underestimated the young lady, Miss Lin. We meet again. Yes, we met too soon last time. I guess we'll have to talk this time. That's a must. Please take your seats. Today is my birthday. It's an honor to have you all here. This is Jing Yuan's wife. She's also the future second in command of the Mu Group. I am looking forward to expecting for your support. Du Qingqian, maybe I shouldn't call you that. How long are you going to keep lying to me? Hey guys, this isn't Su Qingqian at stage at all. She's paid for by the Su family to marry Mu Jingyuan for the Su family. Her real identity is the head girl of a nightclub. Oh yeah 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 yeah! I thought she looked familiar. I ordered her in Vienna. Mr. Chen, I do remember that. Does she have another name called Mary? Jiang Yimong. I thought you had something big up your sleeve. I didn't realize it was so long past. You're still all about the dirty laundry. You're still trying to deny it. I have more evidence, proof that you're not Miss Sue at all. Well, let's see how many more stories you can come up with. These pictures is evidence of your time as a nightclub girl, and your unclean daughter. I don't know whose seed it is. What the hell is going on? Everyone, Mr. Mu was in a car accident. We don't know if he's alive or dead. I wonder if this woman is holding him captive. She wants to be the only one in charge. This bitch almost got me. So it's just a nightclub girl. What's the point of pretending to be an innocent girl? Hey, Mr. Chen, I think she's kind of interesting. How much did the Su family offer you? I'll double it. Isn't it true that Mr. Mu can't walk? Why don't you serve me? You guys, shut up, all of you! Bastard! You've been in planning something since you came into the Moon family. I didn't realize the Su family had so much guts. They arranged for a nightclub girl to muddy the waters of the Mu family. Now get the hell out of here, gentlemen. This is not a feudal period. You can't convict me with just a few pictures. You don't care who I am. What you want to see is just to make a mess of the Mu family. So you can get a piece of the cake. I am Jing Yuan's wife. There are no orders from Mu Jing Yuan. I'm not going anywhere, bitch. How much longer do you want to stick around the Mu family? Where's the security guard? Get him out of here. This lady, I suggest you leave the Mu family. Things have come to this. What are you still talking about, Mr. Lin? It's a good thing you have a good temper. I'll tell you what. We should have had security beat her half to death. And get a lawyer to convict her. Put her in jail. After all, we're all women. Why do women have to be so hard on women? Security, get that woman out of here. I'll see who dares. Is it possible that the man from that night is really Mu Jingyuan? I thought you couldn't stand up, Mister Mu. Tang Shaolin told you about this. I knew she was an idiot. But I didn't realize she was stupid enough to sell out the Mu family. I'm just taking some time off. You're just trying to make waves. Did you forget? 
The economic lifeblood of the Sea City is still in my hands. Mu... Mushao. Mushao? You see it too? She's not even from Sioux family. She's just a nightclub hostess. Mr. Wong, your master gave you his salary. It's for you to run a good business. I'm not asking you to go on a rampage. I'm not asking you to go on a rampage. The evidence is all in front of us now, Mr. Mu. Do you still want to believe this woman? She's a complete Young fraud. Yumei, I remember when you not only tried to smear my wife, you tried to throw the Mu family into chaos. It's a shame you're playing this game so poorly. There are holes everywhere. The real liar is the bad woman! Tong Tong, have you understood everything I've told you? Yeah, for a while. I've been secretly spying on that bad girl. It's her! Hacking AI technology to synthesize a lot of photos, preparing to set you up. Mom, should I hack their system? I'm going to paralyze the company's network. Not for a while. I'd like to see that. What is Jiang Yumeng up to behind his back? And then we're going to make it work. Uncles and aunts, the bad woman. She's full of lies. Those photos are AI composites. Check it out. You're a dead kid. What proof do you have that I did it? You're the one who did it. How dare you? Did you find the top hacker, Dusty? I'm sorry, Mrs. Jiang. Dusty, he's been acting strange. We can't track him at all. Bunch of losers. Go get me some more hackers. Make that bitch, disguised as a nightclub headliner, compose a few more escort photos. Give me the best hacker you can find. Try to do it without leaving a trace. Yes, Miss Jiang. Tell you, Meng, what else do you have to say? There must be some kind of misunderstanding. It's true that I didn't know that Yumeng did these things. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't do a better job of disciplining her. Mom, why are you apologizing to them? I did this. So what? I just hate you. I can afford the result. Kill me or not, as you wish. Mr. Jung, please draft a letter for me. I'm going to sue Jung's group until they lose all of their money. As for everyone here, if I hear again that there's a rumor about my wife... Don't blame me for not giving you a heads up. Chen Chen, let's go. Have you touched it enough? Mu Yan, you're really standing up. Or were you just pretending before? My legs before were indeed not easy to move. But thanks to your sensory stimulation... The other night, is it really you? Yes, it is. And since that night, I've suddenly recovered. Walking ability and... I was going to try to tell you this first. But then I heard the news about Jiang Yumeng's dirty tricks. So, let's play it by ear. Good for you, Mu Jingyan. I never thought of it. You've been better for a long time, you son of a bitch. All right, honey. Don't cry. I'm getting up, right? That's not the tone you used when you argumented them. I'm not crying, I'm mad at you! Alright, alright, alright. You knew that, didn't you? I'm not Su Tian. Will you still kick me out? Do you want me to kick you out? When you're still a vegetable, I married you. I worked for you, doing the laundry. Now, you're in good health. I wouldn't be so stupid as to give you up to another woman. Listen to me, Mu Jingyuan. My name is Shen Nanxie, I'm Shen Yangping's daughter. So, Shen Yanping is your father? You know him so well. I'm sure there's a trail to follow, but I don't care if you're Su Ching Chen. Or Shen Nan Shui. From now on, you are my rightful wife. Thank you, Ting Yan. Sweet sister, what's mom doing with that ice cube face? Shh, keep it down. Daddy and mommy must be in love. We'll have a sibling by nightfall. Tian Tian Tong Tong, you guys come on in. Xing Yuan, this is Lord Zitong, Tian Tian's classmate I told you about. He's Dusty, the top hacker in Haichang. Ice Cube Face? We've seen him before. I remember you too. Half a year ago, you hacked our firewall. You almost got into our system. Remove the word almost. It's not I can't. It's that I don't want to. Until you asked me out to dinner, I finally know. So you're just a five-year-old kid. Who's a brat? You, Ice Face, I don't know what my mom likes you. Shen Nan Shui, when did you get such a great big boy? 
It's a long story. I'll explain it to you tonight. Tone Tone, this is Tian Tian's father. From now on, is your daddy too. Be polite to your father. Don't make a face like an ice cube every day. I'm not calling him dad. I don't want a son like you. Well, how old are you? You're still acting like a child. Get the hell out of here! Calm down, Yimo. I can't calm down. The experiments we've been doing with this bitch. Paper can't hold fire. I can't take it anymore. Mom, can we turn ourselves in? Let's try for leniency. Right, I go right now. Now. At least we won't have to spend the rest of a life in jail. You need to calm down. I'm telling you, we still have a chance. I've just been investigating something very important. Five years ago, Mu Jingyuan was at the Star Hotel, had a one-night stand with a woman, then he had a car accident and lost his memory. That's the hotel I arranged for the hobo, raping Shen Nanxue. Does it say the one who had a one-night stand with Mu Jingyuan was Shen Nanxue? Then isn't her daughter Mu Jingyuan's daughter? What should we do? If that's the case, then the young family's finished. Listen to me first. You drug Shen Nanxue. Shen Nanxue still doesn't know who the father is. And Mu Jingyuan has lost his memory, so we have a good chance of getting this done. Trust mom. Mom will never let that bitch Shen Nanxue bring down the young family. You're saying that the Jiang family has harmed all of your family. You have a son who was also killed by yes, them? Yes, it was Lin Yuxian who used to do charity work, opened an orphanage, ostensibly accepting orphans. In fact, they're using them for secret human experiments. Have you said this to anyone else? Except for the real Su Qingqian. We're the only one who knows. So, do you have any evidence now? Tong Tong came from the same orphanage. I've had Tong Tong investigating for a long time. Unfortunately, the evidence was too cleanly destroyed. There are no critical leads yet. Okay. I know about this. Don't do anything rash. I'll take care of it. Jiang Yumeng is actually a puppet. The biggest boss is her mom, Lin Yuxin. I'm afraid he'll do something bad to you. All right, wife. I'll take care of you if anything happens. Don't be afraid. It's getting late. Get some rest. Tomorrow we have to take Tian Tian to school. All right, let's go to bed. Let's go drop off Tian Tian in the morning. Young master and young lady, there, there's a woman outside. She's got a kid with her. Came to our house and said he was looking for his father. You mean five years ago, you had sex with our Jing Yuan? This child is yours and Jing Yuan's? Yes, it is. Five years ago, Mr. Mu asked me to accompany him to the hotel. And then... What's going on here, sir? Who are this woman and this child? I should be asking you, asshole! What the hell did you do five years ago? Let people bring their children to us! Uh, don't be angry, master. You'll get angry again. Do you recognize this woman? I, I don't recognize her. Mr. Mu, I'm Bai Xiao Xiao. You drank too much wine five years ago, asked me to go to the hotel for one night with you. But the next day I was too scared. So I left. But that was the night I found out I was pregnant. I didn't know who you were at the time. I couldn't bear to abort the baby. So I gave birth to him without telling my family. The Star Hotel five years ago? There's something wrong with all of this. Joke. How did I not know about this? Then I dropped out of school and went back home. I raised him until he was five. Until a while ago I saw your picture in the newspaper, I just found out who you are. But don't get me wrong. I didn't mean anything by it. I know you're married. I just... trying to give my kids a good home. So you haven't you been clamoring for a father? He's your father. There's no way you're lying about everything. Did Yang Yu Monk send you? Sister, I'm telling the truth. You said five years ago, I spent a night with Mu Jingyuan at the Star Hotel. Can you tell me the year, the month, and the day? And the hotel room number? I have this. This one fell on Mr. Mu's neck. I'll keep it. This is really my talisman. W 
What's wrong with you, old master? Uh, call an ambulance! Jing Yuan, this child's business is also important. You'll have to arrange it tomorrow. Take them both for a paternity test. If the results come back true, then bring them to the Mu family. I understand, Master. Don't worry. It's all too much of a coincidence. I can't believe Ling Yuxin isn't behind this. I don't even remember that night. But that woman, why does she have Mu Jingyuan's amulet? Does it mean she's really connected to Mu Jingyuan? Miss Su! It's you, Mr. Luo. What are you doing at the hospital? I'm here to get my sister's medication for her depression. Tian Tian's not with you? Ah, I see you're not in a very good mood. Did something happen? What can I do for Thanks you? Thanks for your concern. I'm fine. Uh, Tong Tong has become much more cheerful lately. I have you to thank for that. Well, after the last time I talked to you, uh, I went back to the orphanage. I found the director's contact information. I can give it to you if you need it. Phone number? Then please give it to me. It's the Dean. Uh, now he's got a supermarket. It's got an address and contact information. There you are. How did you find your next home so quickly? Xing Yuan, I met Mr. Luo by chance. Xing Yuan, you're hurting me! Why did you meet him behind my back? I told you I met him by chance, and Mu Jingyuan. Who are you to talk about me? That woman, what exactly is your relationship with her? If it's true that the child is related to you, are you going to invite that woman back to the Mu family to be the young lady? None of this has been investigated yet. What are you thinking? Did you know that night at the Star Hotel? Actually, the woman that night was... Enough! I don't want to hear about what happened five years ago. None of this has been investigated yet. We'll talk about it when it's all cleared up. Go home and take care of Tian Tian. Hello? The Mu family is primed to trust me. Next I can get Mu Jingyuan to kick her out. Hello? The Mu family is primed to trust me. Next I'll have Mu Jingyuan kick her out. Bai Xiao Xiao, who are you talking to on the phone? I'm talking to my dad. He says I found the Moo. He's very happy. Come visit Mr. Moo sometime. Lin Yuxin sent you here, didn't she? I don't know how much Lin Yuxin paid you. But I'll give you a piece of advice. The Moo family is not easy to fool. You're not exposed now. Doesn't mean you won't be exposed later. What are you talking about? I don't understand a thing. The more one lacks something, the more one wants to show off something. I have a word of advice for you too. Be smart and leave the Mu family. Or you'll look bad if you get kicked out. What's this bitch talk? Li Yuxin picks and chooses. I didn't expect to pick such a wee little white flower like you. Not bad, very dedicated. I wouldn't watch the Oscars without you. Pretty auntie, my mom and I are lost. Can you call my mom and tell her I'm lost? Uh, no, I already know where my mom is. Bye, pretty lady. How's it going? It's done. I've made a copy. The hotel's surveillance records for the past five years. Technically recovered. Soon we'll be able to find out what happened back then. Mom's been found! Ling Yusu plays this game trying to get rid of me. I won't do what they want. I'm going to tell Ting Yuan the truth. Tian Tian is his real daughter. Mommy, there's someone outside! Driver, drive! Ma'am, they're blocking the road in front of us. We can't get out. They were sent by Lin Yuxin. Probably followed us to the hotel. Knew we had the evidence. They're going to destroy it.
Who are you? What do you want? Ma'am, we're just taking money from people. We don't want to make things difficult for you. Hand over the copies you made at the hotel. You're free to go. If you want something, you can have it. Here's the copy. Can you let us go now? God damn it, you've got to be kidding me. Mom, you don't have to worry about me. Take the flash drive to Moo's house. What are you talking about? Mommy won't leave you behind no matter what. Okay. You want this? I'll give it to you. Toto, run! How did you get my amulet? Ting Yuan. Where were you? Why aren't you answering your phone? You ice cube face! Don't be mean to my mom! The driver told me what happened. I told you I'll take care of everything. You stay out of this. How can I leave this woman and this child alone? It has nothing to do with you. I'm the one who's got something to do with you. Sister, you should go upstairs and rest. Ting Yan takes care of the old man every day. His head hurts enough already. As his wife, you should have shared more with him. All right, all right. So much has happened today. I'm tired already. Let's go upstairs and rest. Mu Ting Yan, you said you'd believe me. But now you won't even hear me out. Sister, is she all right? I'm worried about her. Uh, go get some rest. I'll take care of the rest. Xiao Shui, are you feeling better? I don't want to hear anything. Get out! There's more. Tomorrow I'll take Chen Chen leaving the Mu family. I I'm doing this for a reason. The old man is still in his hospital bed. For his psychological well-being, I can't get rid of Bai Xiao Xiao right Let now. Let go of me! Trust me! I'll take care of this, and you will be my only wife. Ting Yan, you know what? Tian Tian, she's your real daughter. Tian Tian really is your daughter. What are you talking about? Five years ago, I was drugged by Jing Yumeng and sent to the Star Hotel. She was trying to find a hobo to rape me, ruined my reputation. I didn't think you'd show up. Tong Tong has got the surveillance records of that year, but Lin Yuxin's men cut off. I lost my flash drive. The only evidence was destroyed. Ting Yan. Tian Tian, she really is your real daughter. I'll send someone to do a paternity test tomorrow. If it turns out White's baby is not mine, I'll, I'll get to the bottom of this. We've received your samples. Let's wait for our notification. How long will it take the doctor? We'll let you know when we get results. See for yourself. It's not possible. Bai Xiao Xiao's child can't be Jing Yuan's. I... I give you my word. White Xiao Xiao's leaving the country. You're still staying in the Mu family as your young lady. I don't want that either. After all, the report is out. After all, that child is the bloodline of the Mu family. He's got to recognize his ancestor. Don't worry, Tian Tian. I'll spoil her as my own granddaughter. Bai Xiao Xiao won't threaten your position. Master, I have only one request. Can you let... Can you have a paternity test between Sweetie and Mu Jian? Grandpa, don't let this woman fool you. Unexplained bachelor like Shen Tian Tian, what face is there to stay in the Mu family? Hi, the youngest of the Mu family. Do you remember me? I've never seen you before. Ah, uh, whoops. That night, five years ago. You've forgotten. You've been drinking too much at the bar. You had to drag me to a room, but I couldn't resist you. I had to take you to the Star Bar. And what happened? I had to give you 100,000 bucks to open your mouth. Did you forget? I've never seen you before, much less with you. Don't talk. Five years after the fact, I seem to remember a red patch on your back. Peach Blossom, birthmark, right? <laughs> You're full of shit. How much did Lee Yushin give you? It used to be said that men don't admit when they pulled up their pants. I think women are the same. They don't admit they've been paid. 
I have looked into your bank account. Five years ago, there was indeed a transfer of $100,000 into your account. What do you have to say for yourself? You're a bitch. Ever since you came through the door, you've made a mess of the Mu family. And now the cousin's own son has returned. You're still staying Mu family? Now? I've also found your daughter's real father. Your family will be reunited. Don't hurt the Mu family anymore. Where's Xing Yuan? I want to see Xing Yuan. Cousin? Cousin knows about this. Already with my new sister-in-law to prepare the child's account. You take this bastard with you. Get the hell out of here. Before I meet Mu Xing Yuan. I won't leave. Why don't you take her away? You... I hear your family's pretty rich. Just in time for my bankruptcy. You're coming back to live with me. As long as you take the money and make me feel better, I won't give you a hard time. Get the hell out of here! Hey, I'm not leaving! Let her go! Cousin, you're finally back! This bitch won't leave! She's waiting for you to come back. I'm sorry for your suffering. Watch me next. Cousin, you hit me! I slapped you to teach you a lesson for my family. You don't know what you're talking about. You're being taken advantage of. Almost did something that harmed Cousin, the Cousin, I'm doing family. this for your own good. That bastard Shen Tian Tian, it's this bitch who gave birth to this wild man. We can't raise a child for nothing. Are you sure Shen Tian Tian is your child? Uh, uh, Mr. Moo, yes, it it's me. I slept with the young lady five years ago. Uh, uh, I have proof. She has a peach shaped on the back. Pink birthmark? I'm gonna ask you one last time. Are you sure? I I'm sure. I have proof. I still have the transfer records. I gave her $100,000 for the night. That's good. Tang Shaolin. Keep your eyes open. See it clearly. What does it say? Mu Zingyuan, the DNA samples from Mu Zingyuan and Chen Tian Tian are a 99.9% .9 match. How is this possible? How could that bastard be your child? I knew it was a premeditated plot. I told you there was no such thing as coincidence. I just finished announcing Chen Nan Shui's identity, and then someone comes along and pretends to be my child? But it's Bai's baby and your DNA sample. The results are the same. This need to ask Jiang family, who are in the medical equipment business. I see. So this DNA sample, it's the gang's family that's behind working behind the scenes. How dare they? Not afraid to let Tian Tian and you do another paternity test. She did it as a favor. She's paid off all the hospitals in Hai Chang. So it doesn't matter how many times we do this. There's only one result. That sugar is not my real dog. What an evil intent. Lee, you seen the poisonous bitch. Say who gave you the nerve. How dare you cheat the Moo family? Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Moo. Just let me go like a fart. That's easy. Still not telling the truth, are you? Don't want these legs? Uh, good, good, good little baby. Help your husband. Uh, say something nice. Chow Chow, baby. Put in a good word for your husband. What are you talking about? I don't recognize you. Mr. Moo, I don't know him at all. What's the point of pretending to be innocent here? If I hadn't spent over $100,000 ransoming you from the brothel? Where do you think you are? What's going on? You really think you're on a high horse? Didn't you tell me Mr. Moo was good to you? Why don't you fucking beg me for mercy? Don't blame me for telling you everything about your bed. Mr. Moo... Mr. Moo, she used to be a lady in a nightclub. I paid her over $100,000 to get her out. But it turns out she's pregnant, too. He gave me a big, fat boy. I was told the other day, said he was taking his son out on a big deal. He'll get a lot of money if he makes it. That's why I let her out. He lied. I was never a club girl. I'm really a college student. He's the one who overdosed me, and then he drugged me. I was raped. I was going to call the police the next day. But then I realized I was pregnant. My parents were trying to avoid shame. They took tens of thousands of dollars in dowry from him. I married him. And then I went home to give birth. He drinks and plays cars every day. He's lost all the money in the family. And then he finally got the better of me. Said he'd send me to a nightclub to make money off him. You can choose... Leave him? I'd like to leave him. He threatened me with my child. He said if I got rid of him, he'd sell my baby. Your parents took my dowry money? 
The dowry money is the money for selling the girl. You are mine. It's useless, even if the police come. You son of a bitch. You eat my food and drink my drink, and now you're calling me, old man? I'm gonna kick your ass. Don't you dare step forward. You shut the fuck up. As a husband, you're not treating your wife well. As a father, you're not fulfilling your duty to care for your children. All you do is oppress women. People like you should be at the bottom of the heat, stinking and rotting. <laughs> Young lady, I'm a dead man. You don't deserve to be angry. If you're really mad at me, you'll have to let me go. Please do me a favor. Give me some money. I promise I'll never bother them again. Want to get money from the Boo family? You've got a lot of nerve. I'll get a lawyer to help. All those sins you committed by Xiao Xiao should be enough to put you in jail for years. Xiao Xiao, please beg Mr. Moo for me. Please, Mrs. Moo. I'm not going to plead for you. You did this to yourself. If you don't want to go to jail, just sign the divorce papers for me later. And then you're going to write a bond. Promise never to molest the mother and child. And finally, get the hell out of Ocean City. Don't ever show your face again. I... Okay, okay, I'll sign. As long as I don't go to jail. I'll do anything. Young Mrs. Moo. Thank you all, I thought. I thought I'd never get rid of that bastard. I told you all it was Jiang Yumong. Jiang Yumong sent me. She also said that as long as the plan worked, she'll send someone to kill the young lady. But I'm curious, how do you know what happened at the Star Hotel back then? And why is Xin Yuan's amulet on you? Because five years ago, I was taken to the Star Hotel by that bastard. Parents have checked the security cameras, knew about these things. The amulet. She bribed the Mu family to get it. She did more than collude with me. She also gave the bastard a large sum of money. Let him set you up. How else would he know you have a birthmark? She also said that if I did what I was told, as long as the plan worked, she'll send me abroad. Get rid of that bastard forever. Young lady, I really didn't mean to set you up. I really didn't mean to. It's because Jiang Yumeng gave me too many chips. You think after she's done using you, is she really going to let you go? In case the plan fails, neither you nor your son will leave Haicheng alive. Young Mrs. Mu, my life is a bitch, but my child is innocent. You're a bitter woman too, I won't give you a hard time. Don't ever be used as a gun again. When this is over, you'll take your son with you to a place where no one knows you. Start over. Thank you, young lady. Thank you, ma'am. What are the rest of people going to do about it? I can't keep Tong Shaolin. She's an idiot. Cousin, please forgive me for the sake of Grandpa. I swear it, I will never do anything to jeopardize the Moo family again. The person you should really apologize to is Xiao Shui. Cousin's wife, I'm sorry. It's all my fault. Please forgive me. I'll never do it again. Forgive you? You're related to Xing Yan by blood. I won't let you go to jail. But starting tomorrow, you're going back to your country. I never want to see you again in my life. Miss, let's go. Xiao Shui, I thought I could protect you, but I didn't realize it would happen to be on my watch. It's not your fault, Xing Yan. It's our enemies' fault. It's a good thing you believe in me. I'm already grateful. But don't worry. I've sent someone to cut off the Jiang family's money flow. In less than a week, Jiang's family will be bankrupt because of the lack of fun. Yes, and her daughter Tian Tian? I give you my word. I'll give her the best of everything. High town. Xing Yan, actually I was pregnant with four children that year. But Ling Yuxin was trying to get those four children in advance. She injected me with a fertility drug. Two of the four children died. Xiao Xie, I owe you and the baby so much. Except for Tian Tian, we also have a son. Ling Yuxin said there's a good chance he's still alive. And it's probably Tong Tong. What's happening? What's with that look? 
Jing Yan, Jiang Yimeng, she kidnapped Chong Chong. She said she wanted me to go to Haicheng Chemical Factory alone. The Haicheng Chemical Plant? It was abandoned years ago. And she let you go alone? She's got a bad heart. I'm coming with you. No, she wants me to go alone. Otherwise, Tong Tong will die. Xiao Shui, I know how much you love Tong Tong. But I don't think it's a small thing. Let's talk to his parents first. It's too late. Zhang Yimong, only give me one hour. Xiao Shui, calm down. Listen to me. I'll go with you to the chemical plant. She won't find out. When you see her, I'll be right there. Jing Yuan, I can't risk Tong Tong's life. There's a good chance he's your child and mine. Shen Nan Shui, don't do anything stupid. I'm sorry, Jing Yan. I've already lost my child once. I'll never let it happen again. My good cousin, you're finally here. You were almost late. Chiang Yimong, I know what you want. Let go of Tong Tong first. I'll do whatever you want. You look like a good mother and a good son. Shen Anxia, you risked your life so much to come here. You don't really think this bastard is your child, do you? It's a shame. My mom and I have looked into it. Your son, he died in a cave behind the lab. This bastard is not even your child. Cousin. My mom says you've grown a lot since then. But in my opinion, you're a complete idiot. Do you know what you're doing? Today will be the death of your future. Yimong. Let's call it quits. Shenanxia, I grew up with what I hate the most is your condescending behavior. So I drugged you. I sent a hobo to rape you. Even to the point of harming your children. I'd like to see that. The daughter of the Shen family who grew up to be a favorite. How bad can it get? Now let me think about how I'm going to torture you. Let's do this. You'll use this knife to cut your face. I'll see to it that you're completely disfigured. Will Mu Jingyuan still want you? <laughs> I'll do as you say. Are you going to let my son go? You think I'm fucking stupid? I'm releasing the bastard. Are you still going to behave? You're in no position to negotiate with me now. I'll give you ten seconds. Ten? Nine! Tong Tong, Mommy's here. Mommy won't let anything happen to you. I don't have that much patience. How dare you! Oops. How dare you, bitch! I've been working out for the past five years. Just to keep my strength up. Thinking that someday if you ever hurt my child again, I won't hesitate to take you down. Okay, I give up. You have the knife. Do it. The last five years, I've been trying to figure out how to get revenge. So that you and that poisonous woman, Li Yuxin, will die without a burial site. But not now. I've got Jing Yuan and Tian Tian and Tong Tong. I won't do it for someone who doesn't matter. To end a great career for me, you should be punished by the law, not me. After all, you're pathetic. By your own mother. Used this bait again and again. I remember when I was a kid. You followed me around like a little follower. Calling me sister. That's enough. No more. I don't have parents like you who love you. I've gone through a lot of trouble, but I don't get any attention from my mom. It's like everything I do is wrong. And then I realized... It's like the only way to listen to my mom. Just do what she says. So she can look me in the eye. And it costs me everything. <laughs> I don't want to talk about the rest. I urge you to turn yourself in. Turn myself in? I can't do anything for you now. I've lost. You do it. Yimong can't let them go. Mom! Mom, you're here! You're here because you're worried about me? Yimong, kill her! If we let them go, the entire Zhang family will be ruined.
Kill them? Yes, kill them. You have to trust Mom. Mommy will take care of everything for you. Mom, I've done a lot of dirty work for you. If I die in front of you, would your heart ache? Or consider it one less pawn to utilize? You won't die. They're the ones who should be dead. Yumon, are you out of your mind? What are you doing? Mom, have you thought about it? They're dead. Can we alive? Oh no. I'm not going to make it. But you're still alive. It's time to pay your debt. I won't help you. Tell you, Mon. What are you doing? There's no fence back there. You're gonna die. Mom. For 20 years. This is the first time I've seen you cry for me. That's right, cousin. I lied. Luo Zetong is your real son. It's just... A belated apology. The rest... You guys talk. I'm tired. Miss Sue, are you okay? There's been a jumping case here. Please come with us to investigate. Xiao Shui, I'm sorry I'm late. You're doing a great job, Ding Yuan. If it weren't for you, I'd still be at the police station being questioned. Police have investigated. Xiang Yumeng jumped off the building by herself. It has nothing to do with you. As for Lin Yuxin, although we don't have any evidence yet, she's the one who ordered Jiang Yumeng. But the Jiang family is finished. Ding Yuan. Xiao Yumeng told me before she died. Tong Tong is our child. We have to get the baby back. Okay. Then we'll go find Lo Li Hua tomorrow. Take the child back to the Mu family. Mr. and Mrs. Mu, uh, I understand your feelings very well. But you want custody of Tong Tong. Uh, I don't agree. Don't even think about going against me. You don't have such right. Do you really think you can do anything? The Lo family is no slouches. Xing Yuan, Mr. Luo, calm down. I know you treat Tong Tong like your own son, and you've put a lot of effort into it. We want our children back. I won't let him cut you off. You said you're not Su Ching Chen. You're the eldest daughter of the Shen family. But the Shen family was burned to the ground in a fire. How could I let Tong Tong follow someone who doesn't even have an identity? If I can prove that I'm a member of the Shen family, will you give up custody of Tong Tong? Yes, if you can prove it. I'm giving it up voluntarily. Sesue, I've checked for you. Everything about your identity, it's all been wiped clean by Lin Yuxin, including photos of your enrollment records. In this world, there's no one named Shen Nanxue anymore. You're too impulsive. Why did you say yes to Luo Li Hua? Song Yumeng is dead. My plan of revenge is halfway complete. Next, I must regain my identity as Miss Shen. If only my father were still alive, he would have wanted Tian Tian and Tong Tong to come back to the Shen family. So what are you going to do? I'm going to find Lin Yuxin. I know her personality. She does bad things to people, but the evidence won't be completely erased. She's going to have something on me that proves my identity. But her daughter just died. And her company's going out of business. You go to her now, what will you get? So I'll make a deal with her. You're so stubborn. I can't talk you out of it. Let your husband persuade you. I agree with Xiaoshui. You're just in time. You'd better talk to your wife. I'll tell you what. Get a paternity test directly with Zetong. Go through the legal process. Just get the kid back. I have a better idea. Let's just kidnap Lin Yuxin. Throw her into the basement. Force her to produce proof of identity. What do you think? Hubby is so smart. But what the hell is wrong with you two? Okay, I don't care. I don't care. Miss Sue, you're the children's godmother. I'm going to need you to take care of them for a few days. Mu Dingyuan, please take care of your wife. Now she's ordering me around. Take good care of Miss Sue these days. By the way, all the limited editions of Hermes this year sent here for Miss Sue's selection. By the way, you don't have to notify me of any package less than $300,000. Just swipe my card. 
Liu Xin, do you regret it? It's all over now. What are you still doing here? I came to find you. Naturally, I have something to tell you. I have nothing to say to you. Please leave the Jiang family with the one next to you. Jiang Yimeng's father died young. The Jiang family you've worked so hard to maintain all these years, but end up in bankruptcy. What are you trying to say? You victimized the Shen family back then. My identity was destroyed. I'm sure you have a backup. You're right. I do have the information in my hand. But don't even think about it. Give me my ID. I can make your Jiang family's estate keep it going. You're not saying it's enough. You have to promise me more. That you'll never bother me again. And the Jiang family will be restored to its former glory. Greed is insatiable. If you don't agree, I'll ask you to leave. I don't care about anything right now. It's just the ID. You'll never get it. You killed my parents, killing my children. I won't let you go just for that. Keep your Jung family afloat. That's the greatest mercy I've ever shown. My parents wouldn't stand for it. Lin Yuxin, you don't do this the hard way. I can crush your family as easily as I can crush an ant. Take care. Ding Yuan, the identity information is not going to be given to me by Lin Yuxin. What about Tong Tong? Mrs. Lee was very aggressive just now. It's a little bit like me. You're still kidding. Tong Tong didn't like you very much in the first place. Wait two more years. The kid are going to disown you. I have a lot of solutions. You want to hear it? Your solution is to go straight to the door. Then Luo Lihua will announce it all over the city with a loudspeaker. The boss of the Mu family in Haicheng is a bastard. I'm such a person in your eyes? Are you sure? Sure. I'm not only sure, I'm sure and certain. Then I'll tell you for sure and certain. That's really my scenario. So I just said that for nothing? Hey, Xiaoxie. Did you see Haicheng's hit news? I checked for you. Lin Yuxin also sent a message to the Haicheng newspaper that she's taking this imposter with her tomorrow afternoon and have a press conference. Xiaoxie, we can't let her get away with this. Xiaoxie, the suggestion I made to you earlier, how's it going? Lin Yuxin, Xiao Yumeng killed herself because of you. Do yourself a favor. Shut up. You're in no position to talk to me about Yumeng. If it weren't for you, how could Yumeng have died? Xiaoxie, I was too excited just now. Oh yeah. I forgot to tell you something. Before your father died, a company was registered in your name. If you agree to my request, don't let the Jiang family go bankrupt, and not to pursue this matter any further, I'll give you full control of the company. No way. Yeah, well, I'll see you at the conference. I'll be there with my wonderful niece. Later, I'm transferring the company to her. How dare you? Oh? You want to use the Mu family's connection to shut down the company again? Then please, help yourself. The company is in your name anyway. If one day you return to being Miss Shen, but the only property will be gone. I'll give you one day to think about it, that's all. Measure for yourself. Hold your horses, everyone. I'm waiting for someone very important. When she comes, all will be revealed. The one I'm waiting for, she's here. Lin Yuxin, you're talking about Shen Yanping's daughter. Where is she? Ladies and gentlemen, I have a confession to make today. My brother-in-law's daughter did die in that fire. And there will be no Shen Yanping's daughter today. The reason I called you all here today, I want you to do me justice. It's her, Su Qingqian. She used to be best friends with Yu Mo. They call themselves sisters. Ever since she learned that the Shen family had been burned in a fire, but my brother-in-law left behind an overpriced painting wasn't taken. She's been playing a trick be from behind. My daughter. Poor Yumeng was driven to death by her. My daughter always thought of her as a good friend. But she has an ulterior motive. She's been trying to find out about my niece. Now I know. So she was trying to pass herself off as the Shen family's daughter. Now I realize that so she was trying to pass herself off as the Shen family's daughter. You're really good at playing the other side of the fence. Fellow journalists, 
Don't let her fool you. The one who really killed Jiang Yimeng was Ling Yuxin herself. Mrs. Su? Maybe I shouldn't call you Mrs. Su. How many people are you going to drive to death? First you impersonated the former Miss Su, now you're approaching Yu Meng. You're trying to pass yourself off as Xiao Xue? That's what you're trying to do. It's just that you want those overpriced paintings. Listen to how untrustworthy she is. My brother-in-law's family had an accident. I'm the one who took the bodies of the three members of the family. I cremated them. How dare she say such a thing? You did see my parents' bodies, because you're the one who did it all. Shen Yanping is my brother-in-law. I've loved his daughter since she was a child. There's no way I would ever do such a thing. I'm coming over. It's to expose Lin Yuxin's true colors. I'm coming over. It's to reveal Lin Yuxin's true colors. This painting is Master Shen on his daughter's coming of age. It was painted for him by his own hand. It's easy to see who's in the portrait. There's no way this painting is a fake! My brother-in-law's last work. It's already in my collection. I've never seen this painting before. Of course you haven't. This painting was painted by Master Shen when his daughter was 19 years old. It was shipped overseas as a charity item. But by coincidence, I bought it again. How did you get this painting? Remember my old man's birthday? This is the gift you were talking about? It wasn't really this one. But then I changed my mind. Only this painting was shipped into the country. It's going to take a long time. But it's okay. Just in time. As for whether or not this painting is the authentic work of Master Shen, we can have it examined by a team of professionals. Ah, you guys! You guys! Tell me why you're keeping this from me. I just found out. It's not a secret, is it? It's a rare day to see Lin Yuxin failed. I could experience this feeling a million times. So, how are you going to repay your husband? How would you like to repay? I prefer to action. Hello. Is this Shen Nanshui, Shen Yanping's daughter? I'm the director of the Angel Welfare Center. Angel Welfare Center? Isn't this the one owned by Jiang's group? There's something I want to tell you. Do you have a time that's convenient for you? Oh, okay, I'm on my way. Who's calling? The director of that orphanage under Jiang's banner. There's a good chance he knows what happened back then. I need to see him now. It has to be now? Mr. Mu is waiting for me at home. You're saying this land belongs to the Shen family? You're saying the land belongs to the Shen family? It's true that this land is your parents' property. It's just that it's been loaned to the Jiang group. Until they discovered the real secret of the orphanage, and so they were killed. Except for this one, do you know anything else? Uh, hey, that's right. I also know Mr. Lin has a very confidential document. It's in the warehouse where they keep the medical equipment. You know where this file is, right? I do know, but this thing... I don't think you should tell anyone. Yes, sir. Is everything ready, Tong Tong? I've opened the fingerprint lock on the warehouse door. You can go in any time. That's great, Tong Tong. I promise to finish the job. Tong Tong, can you unlock this fingerprint lock? Don't worry, I've remote controlled their defenses. Is that what you're looking for? It's a shame you won't get it. The Dean? He's so stupid, he's done so much for me. All I had to do was terrorize him a little bit. He's terrified. <laughs> That's right. Only stupid. It's easier to utilize. Lee, you see, you poisonous bitch. 
Just keep talking. You're gonna die here anyway. This place is full of flammable and explosive materials. As soon as I ignite this bronze, this place will burn. Oh yeah, your parents died in a fire last time. This time, it's your turn. Aren't you afraid you'll die here too? You think I'm that stupid, don't I have another exit? As soon as I light this bottle, and then I'm going to take the exit. Only me knows where this exit is. When I get out, seal up this escape hatch. By the way, I've given you many chances. Why do you want to get yourself killed? It's just as well it's revenge for my daughter. Your daughter couldn't even give her life to make you wake up. You suck at this. Bitch, you don't even deserve to mention my daughter. You look just like your mother. Finally, I hear you swearing. Maintaining the mask of elegance for so many years? It's not easy, is it? Bitch, this time I'm gonna make you die worse than your parents. Your two little bitches are only five years old, right? From now on, they'll be a bastard without a mother. When you're dead, I sold all your father's paintings. And then I'm going to go away and start over again. Time to go. I'm going to develop the newly developed potion, give you two little bastards a try. Just one millimeter. He'll die a painful death. I'll see you down there. Ling you see And you're the most vicious, heartless, and shameless woman I've ever met. <laughs> this line. That's what your father told me before he died. It's a shame you're so good at planning, but you can't count the hearts of men. The only thing that happens when you use someone is that they use you back. What do you mean by that? Come on out! Dean, tell me everything. He knows your vicious nature. That's why he doesn't trust you at all. Turned around and asked for my help. Shame on you. You can go to hell! I'm recording everything you just said. If you have anything to say, tell it to the police. Bring me that file. How many times do you owe me, Miss Moo? Uh-huh. There's always a chance to make up for it. Ting Yen, are you alright, Ting Yen? Ambulance! Call an ambulance! Silly woman, why are you crying? I'm fine. You don't know how scared I was. If that crate had been a little more crooked... It's your eye that's going to be hit. I'm having a hard time seeing any hope. In case something happens to you, I don't know how I'm going to keep going. You've survived the last five years on your own, and you've given me two such lovely children. For the past five years, I haven't relied on anyone. I've made it this far on my own. But it's different now. I have a home. It's all my fault. I owe you all so much. But don't worry. Where's Lin Yuxin? She's under police control. The lab's been seized, too. No more innocent children will suffer. Your mom and dad will be happy. My dad used to tell me, I'm gonna marry the best man in the world. And now this man is in front of me. That's the first time you've ever complimented me like that. Why can't I give you a compliment? What's wrong? Where does it hurt again? I'll get you a doctor. No, don't call a doctor. I'm fine with you. Mu Yuan can't make it tonight. Why not? I'm worried about your health. Mrs. Mu is worried about my health. It would be better to check it out Don't for yourself. Don't be a jerk. Don't be a jerk. We're legally married. We're a legitimate couple. Tintin sister? What are they gabbing about again? Mom and Dad must be talking when we're going to have a baby brother or sister. Play with us. The ice face? I still don't like him. Brother Tong Tong, Daddy is so handsome. I've seen this type of boy on TV. It's called The Boss. He's a favorite. Later, I want a boyfriend who is as cool as my dad. What are you two little guys listening to? I'm not eavesdropping. Tintin didn't eavesdrop. You guys are talking about having a sibling. Is Tong Tong? Yes. Tong Tong, come here. What's up, Ice Face? You don't say you look like Mom. Of course not. It looks like you. Tong Tong, didn't you say you always wanted me to be your mom? Actually, I wanted to tell you, you are my own child. 
Really? Really. Mommy and Daddy will never let you suffer again. You and Tian Tian, Daddy and Mommy, the four of us will live happily ever after. Mom! I finally have a mom! Brother, I finally have a brother! The Master is so accurate. You're not only a valuable person in Jing Yuan's life, you've also brought Jing Yuan two treasures. I'm going to revise the suicide note. Redistribute the Mu family's assets. Master Mu, I know you're excited. But let's wait for the suicide note. The old man wants me to say about your little fortune. I'd rather save it for your own retirement. My children, I'll take care of it myself. My little fortune? I'm worth tens of billions of dollars. Don't worry. I won't leave you a penny. I'll leave it all to my precious grandson. Uh, young lady, there was a call from the detention center. He said there's someone called Lin Yuxin who wants to see you. You're here. You asked me to come. What else do you want to say? You have wind. A loss is reality. I accept it. Now that you've admitted defeat, what is the purpose of my visit? You haven't been fighting me. You're fighting with yourself. Your greed and your evil thoughts are the source of all your tragedies. You're most sorry, except for my parents and your daughter Jiang Yumong. You know what? Shen Yangping is my ex-boyfriend. If it wasn't for that vixen of your mom showing up, how could he have cancelled my wedding so quickly? She has no shame, seducing Yan Ping. They've only known each other a few days. Yan Ping cancelled the wedding with me. In less than a month. He's right there with your mom. My best sister got married. The most irritating thing is... And I'm the maid of honor. And what can I do? I had to settle for a second. Married a loser. Gave birth to another loser. From that moment on, I made up my mind. Whatever it takes, I won't let you have your way. People always look to others. My mom knew my dad first. They were in love. You begged my mom. Tell her to let you have my father. But such a thing as feelings, how can you just let it go? You're a jealous man with a heart of gold. My father saw right through you. And then he financed you, totally for my mom's sake. He didn't expect that you're a poisonous woman with a snake's heart. No, it's not true! It was your mom who seduced Yan Ping. That's mine! That's mine! It's pathetic. It's all your fault, bitch! Killed my daughter, made the Dong family's detriment, you won't get away with this! You're not going to get away with this! Excuse me, ma'am. The prisoner is out of control. Please leave immediately. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, if she's going to call me again, there's no need to notify me. When she's sentenced, I'll see her again. Sorry, Miss Shen. I have to take Tong Tong back to the Lo family. What's your hurry? My sister is sick. Now she's crying to see Tong Tong. I won't let Tong Tong go back with you. Miss Shen, I'm counting on you. If you're willing to let the child go back to the Lo family, I voluntarily relinquish custody. I can promise you that. But I have one condition. I want to go back with Tong Tong. Where is he? Where is he? I want to see him! Tong Tong, you're back. Come to mommy. Don't come here. I already have a mom. A million times better. Lo Tong. You're itching again, aren't you? Get your ass back here! Miss Ross, please watch your language. Tong Tong is my child. He won't let you beat him anymore. Lozo Tong is a member of the Law family. Someone get this woman out of here! Sister, you've met Tong Tong. You should be relieved. This Miss Shen is Tong Tong's real mother. You're full of shit! I gave birth to Tong Tong. I raised her. I'm Tong Tong's mother. Where did you find this fake? You're trying to piss me off, aren't you? Oh. Looks like Mrs. Loy is having a hard time calming down. I'll take Tong Tong first. You better not forget what you promised me. Voluntary relinquishment of custody. Voluntary relinquishment of custody? You're dreaming. I'm his mom. I'm his guardian. I won't allow anyone to take him away. Since you're so obsessed, let's go through the proper legal procedures. Let's go through the legal process. Fine, I'll last eight or ten years. At least now I'm his guardian. Lozotong, you're not going anywhere. Mom, am I? Can't I go with you? Don't be afraid. Mommy's calling Daddy right now. 
Tell him to come pick us up. Ting Yan, pick us up at the Loa Villa in Haichung Center Garden. Tong Tong, be good. Mommy won't beat you anymore. It's all Mommy's fault. Don't you like computers? Mommy's gonna buy it for you. Mommy's gonna take you to the best college in the world. Learn the best technology. No, I don't want it. I have a mom. And a sister and a father. I'm going with them. Miss Shen, I'm sorry. I understand how you feel, but I won't forgive the things she did to my son. Since she wants to fool around, I don't mind fighting the Lua family to the end. Don't be afraid, Tong Tong. Daddy's here. Welcome home, young master. Father! Tong Tong, don't go! Don't run, Tong Tong! Catch him! Get him! Sister, who dares to stop me? My men will be here soon. They're world-class lawyers. Lawsuit? I'll fight until the Lowe family goes bankrupt. Let's go, wife. Let's go home. Hubby, you look so handsome today. So many May bucks are parked in front of the villa. Mrs. Moo, haven't you seen a world? Disgusted with me? How can that be? What about today's train? It's just a little thing. Then Master Moo heard that the Lowe family refused to release him. Ten more helicopters were dispatched. We've got the Lowe family surrounded. So if the Lowe family not to release... Doesn't he want to blow up the Lowe That's family? That's not going to happen. That's good. The old man will just have the bulldozers raise the Lowe family to the ground. What's the difference between that and blowing up the Lowe family? It's not inelegant to blow it up. It doesn't fit the Moo family's temperament. A bulldozer would be elegant, wouldn't it? Now I know who your temperament follows. It runs in the family. Brother Tong Tong, I've been waiting for you a long time. Honey, wait for me here. I'll take Tong Tong and Tian Tian to get changed. I'll talk to you later. Ting Yan? Tong Tong? Tian Tian? Where are you? Happy birthday, wife. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Mom! Mom! Since my father died, I haven't had a birthday. I've forgotten what it's like to have a birthday. So from today on, I'll give you twice a year. And I'll pay you back what Dad owes you every year. Didn't you say there's a very important gift for Mom? Hurry up and give it to her. Take it apart and see for yourself. My favorite daughter, Xiao Shui. See the letter as if you see me. It's your birthday. Dad, it seems like it's been a long time since I've written to you. Mom and Dad have discovered something very serious. Dad's been thinking about not choosing to hide it for you. And then I thought about it. You're the apple of my eye. And so are other people's children. Xiao Xie, this may be the last time Dad writes to you. Mommy and Daddy have a mission to fulfill. No matter how it ends, no matter where mom and dad are. Please remember. Remember that mommy and daddy will always love you. Xiao Xie. Happy birthday. Mom and dad, are you okay? I've avenged for you, and no one will ever bother you again. I, uh, I, uh, this is my first marriage, so it might be a little uh, unskilled. Shen Nan Shui, will you marry me? Ting Yan. Xiao Shui, last time when you married in, I'm still in a coma. So we didn't have a wedding, but it's okay now. Everything's settled. Let's have a new wedding. 
I'll give you everything you want. Oh, friends in the kindergarten is none of them mom and dad's wedding. It's too bad, but I'm different. I can participate, mom and dad's wedding. It's just so cool. Uh, Mrs. Moo still doesn't agree? <laughs> My legs are numb. I promise. Okay. <laughs> we'll pick a good day tomorrow. Let the hotel organize it. Xiao Shui, which star do you like? Invite all here to be your wedding guest. Grandpa, I love Elsa the Snow Princess. Grandpa, I like Daisha Ultraman. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Bring in Elsa and Deja and all that. <laughs> Sing Yen, thank you for the gift. Actually, I have a gift for you too. What gift? I. What's going I'm on? I'm pregnant. You're pregnant? I'm going to be a father again? Xiao Shui, this time I won't let you face it alone. I'm here for you. It's good to have you. Chong Chong, am I right? We have a sibling! <laughs> <laughs>